champions. We rock. They are radio shock jocks known for setting up outrageous stunts. People sure are listening. Two Long Island natives who together would one day change the world as broadcasting's greatest duo. After 20 years, these children of the 80s have arrived. Their hugely popular radio show is not just in New York anymore. Opie and Dennis Falco! Not a show on the road. Through 55-gallon drums and wiffle ball bats, from mayors to mayo. It was an April Fool's hoax by two radio disc jockeys. With bottle rockets and bra bombings. <laughs> and wieners and pigs. Opie and Sam? Roberts got their hands on the photo and tweeted it. Two men that have taken a box of cocks further than any. Well, these people will definitely stop. Guaranteed. Oh, Lift okay, up this the <laughs> They've met friends along the way. Is this Jim Norton? I have a raging heart on right now. Can I please put my dick in your donuts? And through fines, scandals, suspensions, cancellations, and terminations, it's the one show that remains unscathed. Striking fear into the hearts of management everywhere comes a radio show that after 20 years remains above all else real. Okay. This is the Opie and Daniel Curlin, but you probably know me as Bobo Show. But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. All right. That intro's getting uh, a bit old already. Yeah, by day two, we hate it. Uh, absolutely. It seemed like a good idea when we were discussing what the fuck, what the fuck to do. Morning, everyone. It's me and uh, Jim Norton. Sam. Special guest Sam. It's special guest Sam as we try to figure this shit out. Day two, right? They, yeah. they, they allowed us back. I guess that's kind of cool. I still won't... Uh, we still have to figure... that This seat here on the left is still depressing and Let's, sad to look at. Like, I won't sit in it. Let's put a glass box around it. Like they do at the Hall of Fame, right? That's true. We're around like fucking where like the thing Lincoln was uh, sitting in the chair when he got shot or whatever. Like all that stuff. A little little glass thing around that would be would be wonderful. People said we were really uh, really depressed and it yeah. sounded very sad yesterday. So I guess we'll try to have a little more energy for everybody today. Uh, we got Bob Kelly coming in today. Rich Voss coming in. We got Ricky Gervais. And Pete Rose. Yeah, Pete Rose, I'm very much looking forward to talking to. I think that's around 10 o'clock, so yeah. we'll go a little late today. Right now we're doing three hours of radio. They're already trying to get us to do four, and that's not happening. That's just not happening anytime soon. We, we lost a massive chunk of this radio show, and they're, and they're already uh, pushing, pushing, pushing. So... Yeah, it's like we're trying to just kind of, you know, find our way and find your way. And and that's why we're bringing all these people. And it's like it's almost like when, when something you're going through a breakup, you just eat. Yeah, that's what this is like. It's like it's, there's a horrible thing happened. And we're just trying. This is eating, just getting all these people in to help us, you know, hey, yeah. look at something else. Yeah. And then they're already pushing. It's like, relax. We'll, we'll f try to figure this out. We'll just try, you know, and if, if we're feeling it, we'll go late. I don't care. Right? Right, but I don't want to be forced to, to come in and do four hours. Because like, then for like an hour, we're like, oh. mm. you, you, don't, you don't sometimes realize how important somebody is to you until there's a space that they're not filling. Right. It's not always things that remind you of them. Sometimes it's just when it's silent, mm -hmm. where that person would be, where that person's things would be, or what that person would be talking. And that's not easy to, to you know, you can get anybody here to blab, right. but that, that's really impossible to, to fill. Absolutely. Speaking of blabbing, he's coming down the hall already, Rich Voss. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I purposely uh, booked Rich Voss for today because I knew he has no emotions and he'll get us out of this funk very quickly and easily. Good morning, Rich Voss. Look, he goes right, right for his seat. seat. <laughs> <laughs> no one had any doubt. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I, I really never liked him. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is exactly what I was telling you. I've been waiting for this moment a long time. <laughs> Let's get this audition going. <laughs> I told you. Jimmy just had a whole speech like it feels weird. and no one, He's not going to sit in that seat. No one else wants to sit in that seat. We're, gonna, we're thinking of putting a, bl uh, a glass box around it, and you go right for the seat. Yes. Well, you have no go. emotions. What are you you yes. have no emotions. That's what makes me who I am. That's why, that's why I booked you today. <laughs> I'm using you. You're using I me. I absolutely am using you, and I'll tell you why. Because yesterday, 
it was fucking deeply depressing in here. Deeply uh, depressing. We had to try to like uh, t explain ourselves, explain the situation, talk about Anthony yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? Rich Voss will be perfect for day two because he has he doesn't have an emotional uh, an emotional bone in his body. Listen. Listen, here's the deal. He yeah. had a good run. I'm not going to lie. He had a good run, and now it's time to turn the page. A little old Bob Seger song, I say. Really? You know, I bought gifts for everybody. It's a whole new Did uh, you really? I bought a couple gifts. Uh, I know what the gifts are going to be. What What's that? They? It's going to be his new CD. No, I, no, that's coming out. Oh, okay. It's coming to my house this week. Uh, I got for Norton, who's going to love this. Yeah. Well, Voss does have a probably a good gift for me. I have a... Uh, his age results. <laughs> <laughs> no, where's Norton's? I don't know, but you know it's not a good gift when someone's fishing out of their wallet. Oh, oh wow. Autographs. Two autographs. Thanks, Rich. Two Tall Jones and uh, Hollywood Henderson. Thank you very Whoa, much. Oh, some Isn't cowboys. That pretty good? Yeah. That was a great dude. And, uh, he had a picture with both of those guys. Mm -hmm. And Hollywood Henderson was doing cocaine out of a Vicks because uh, him and Pryor were very close. Right. And he was doing cocaine out of a Vicks inhaler during Super Bowl thirteen on the sidelines. Come on. Yeah, he's like that. Those little breathers. Right, and right. He was fucking doing oh, blow he, through it. He told me the greatest, greatest drug stories. I mean, I can't repeat it. They were so good. And he went. He he went broke. Wait, why wow. can't you tell his drug stories? Because I don't know how personal. It, well, 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 here's one. So he went broke, and then I guess, and then hit the lottery for twenty eight million dollars. Really, twenty eight million. Uh, Is that he, a true story, Jimmy? You yeah. know about the Cowboys? Yeah. I guess so. I didn't yeah. Heard that. Yeah, that's very true. And Wait, he went book. broke, and then he won the lottery for On twenty eight million. Um, and then he, <laughs> then he hit the lottery again for like five hundred thousand. I'm telling no, you, no, that's I, come you want on. to look it up. Does he oh, still I'm have money? To look it up. Get, look it up, Sam. Get yeah. look at let Sam, who has resentment that he stole where he is after all of this. Look it up. Uh, what's only, the, hold on, Hollywood Henderson is. Uh, what's the? He, he, did you read his book? His book was fucking I don't, amazing. Did I read. I don't read. Did anybody summarize his book for you? Oh man, it is kind of it's kind of legitimate really. question. I was My friend's not there. I'm grieving. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm grief stricken. <laughs> I've never seen somebody grieve with such a smile on their face. Uh, he also has the the numbers from the lottery that he won tattooed on the back of his head, right? Which I think would offend some of my people. But, sure, you know, uh, I didn't know this about him. Yeah. We're, we're looking it up right now. Yeah, he won twenty eight. Where's million. my gift? Oh, well, yours is kind of crappy. Oh, Christ. Yours is kind of crappy. Yours is for you and Lindsay, because she was looking oh, for this yesterday. I, I, <laughs> I had a can of sardines oh, in the car. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, Rich and Bonnie did an interview for Penthouse Forum, and he gave me a copy. Well, but, That's a terrible well, gift. That's a horrible <laughs> gift. Well, there's some press I did? You're, you're, oh, I should have snipped out my West Palm Beach interview. I could have given you that for your birthday. What a what? terrible fucking gift. Uh, Bonnie looks good naked, though. Let me tell you something. If that was Bonnie... Oh, that's okay. not Bonnie naked? I wouldn't be thinking about the guy with Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, you no, really have no emotion. I love it. What kind of emotion do I have? What, it's what am I some trying? heavy shit going on around here. It, but that was, wasn't We're that being done over the weekend? Didn't you guys get past it like, by Saturday? <laughs> oh I mean, it happened last week. Move on, okay? There's bombs going into Israel. There's a lot more important things than some clown. You know what's going to happen in three years? He's going to be sitting in his compound like the guy from Breaking Bad with no furniture, <laughs> just sitting there having a couple drinks with a microphone going, oh, yeah, I'm not saying I'm sorry. Anyhow, <laughs> sorry, my ass, okay? Put that TV back. Keith, Keith, hang that picture. It's the last one. Oh, I, think you're saying, really, I think you're really auditioning right now. No, I'm not. I'm just messing oh around. What am I supposed to do? Come in here and sit down. Oh, oh, I could have done that at home, all right? I got my own <laughs> depressing life, okay? I got to worry about a guy that makes $3 million a year. Oh, sad, okay? They might, I gotta, they might have bumped that number okay. a little bit. I hope so. How do you think I felt when I read that? Because now everyone's looking at me. Like, they, they told me everyone was getting fifty grand. <laughs> <laughs> that number might have been bumped a little, a little bit, a little bit. But your wife was looking for that magazine yesterday with two kids in a stroller walking around town. Yeah, all right. Looking for that because she supports you guys. 
Well, I'm not going to read your interview. You don't have to read it. It's just something to have around your house. Well, I appreciate all the naked uh, ladies in here. My God. There's, there's, there's some hot... You know what I mean? Yeah. It's only seven pages in penthouse form. Big deal. It's nothing... I mean, you know. Hey, can we get this mic a little closer to the table? I don't know how he sat, but I, I like to be closer. <laughs> well, why don't you just... Well, why don't you fix it? I, that's what I'm saying. Well, that's uh, all you had to do. That's what, see, hey, they're very handy, those people. <laughs> uh, Mar Mars fix something for him. What's it? What's in the in there? That's little... for Bobby. I promised him a fly fishing pole. I got. He it. hasn't. He has fly fishing poles though. He does. Yeah. Well, then I'll give it to you. We'll see what happens. <laughs> why? Why are you buying him a fly fishing? I pole? I didn't buy it for him. You he just did so much stuff. Producing our live podcast. Oh, so you just give him a little gift. I have Is a it gift. a nice one though? Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. I got it years ago from Marlboro Miles. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's the big logo on it. <laughs> oh, what a hot <laughs> shit, Marlboro Miles. How long have you been sitting on that? Oh, probably nine years. I didn't really want to give it. It's brand new though. Look at this. It's a brand new fly fishing. Not right. only fly fishing pole. It, looks it doubles that looks as like a, a regular cheap piece of garbage. But no, it's really. It's probably, if you look it up, it's probably worth about three hundred bucks. Maybe not if it's, it's nine years old. All tangled. That's a cheap right. piece of garbage. This isn't tangled. No, right there, uh, around that part. That's because uh, it's all tangled. It's, it's, it's not all tangled. tangled. It's, it's, it's not piece tangled. of shit. So, <laughs> shut up. What a terrible gift. Yeah, put shut it back up. together at least. This is, what? Because you, you don't just wrap this, it like that quickly. A Marlboro oh, Miles I do it slowly. Well, yeah. <laughs> You're wrapping it too tight. Hold on, it's the it's the it's the it's the line that goes around the reel. That right? Why would you save that for nine years? Well, what am I supposed to do with throw it? Throw it out? No, I got tons of stuff. I but can't. You, you can't just throw things. But out. But you saved that for nine years, knowing you you would never go fly fishing. Well, but I have a regular fishing pole here. That one time I took my daughter's fish and I bought them, you know, little poles. Yeah. And and then. Uh, I use this, just this part to fish. So it's a used fishing. No, not the fly part. Not the fly part. Right, Wait, what the part's part? used? This part right here, I would imagine. What do you mean you would imagine? I it's think used? I used it when I took my kids fishing. <laughs> but you know, it's what a, what a heartfelt <laughs> gift. Here's a ten-year-old gift I got with cigarette coupons that I've used. <laughs> Piece of shit. No, <laughs> I didn't use this one. Listen to me. You, you, is, you, you didn't use half of it. Is what you're trying to tell us. He's gonna love this. What do you can? Okay. Why do people get Bobby cakes? Here's. <laughs> Here's what I'm look, saying. It's falling apart. It is it's falling, falling apart. apart. You're trying to make your package look nice. Yeah, right? It's a terrible. <laughs> <game>. <laughs> no, it's a great. Game. Look, see, this stuff isn't open. Look at this. Look we'll, at all the all right, we'll the see what, and stuff like that. We'll see what he thinks. Okay. Yeah, you know. there, it's that Bob will be nice about it, but uh, well, that think? really is a piece of garbage gift. No, it's not. It's for nothing. It's not like a birthday gift. It has it's, Marlboro written on it. Give me a. Mar I was looking for a black marker. <laughs> what other yeah. What other things did you buy with your Marlboro right. um, coupons? Or oh, I got everything, and I haven't used them. I have sleeping bag. I have a tent. Where's all this stuff? In my storage but unit. But I've known you a long time. I don't think you go camping. I know the only reason so, I don't. So go why camping, are you Why are you uh, keeping that? Because you never know. I'm not. Like, a, I'm when, not. A, when the uh, race wars break out, you uh, might need that stuff. A fly fishing pole. Well, the, the tent, the, yes, the fly fishing pole, because during the apocalypse, you might have to I'm, go. I'm not a you never know type of guy. I would just throw that shit away. Yeah. No, you wouldn't. You have a bathroom full of storage stuff. What? Your bathroom you use for That's storage. That's all toys. I, one of my ba wait, one of my bathrooms, the shower is like a storage. That's how a storage that's how bin. rich he is. He could use a bathroom as a closet. That's what everyone does in New York. Because for some reason, if you buy an apartment in New York, you have to have a bathroom for every room. It's so stupid. I got four bathrooms in my place. It's not that big. I would love to you just take dumps bathrooms. in all of them. four bathrooms. Just take dumps, in a different one every day. You gonna do a show in four bathrooms? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, so why don't you go camping? I heard you. Well, yesterday I played golf, shot 79, and I got home, and this is two hours later. I saw a tick crawling on my shirt. Whoa. The smallest thing on the planet can bring you the most fear a little tick. Yeah. And the reason I don't camping is because of ticks, because I'm scared I'll get a tick on me. 
I would love to go camp. Bonnie won't go camping. So what'd you says, do at the tick? How do you bail out of the tick story? What happened? I it was it. just on his shirt. Oh, right. It wasn't on my skin. It was on my shirt. Yeah. Just crawling. Ticks are a motherfucker. And Bonnie, yeah. Bonnie won't go camping because she says that's how she grew up. Like, you right. know, with an outhouse. So, and, so get rid uh, of that shit. You're, not, you're never going camping. You're not going camping. Throw your tent out. <laughs> Are you crazy? You're not an outdoorsman. You're not a survivor in the fucking... You're, if the apocalypse comes, you're a dead man. Just accept that. Your family is dead. <laughs> you're borderline hoarding. You just I, save yes, all your I, shit. Yeah. Oh, I, I hate saving shit. I, what I throw do? perfectly good gifts down the, the chute all the time in my building. I threw out a... Because I don't even have time to find, you know, the person for that gift. I, I threw out a golf bag. The only problem was... The strap broke, but mm. you could still tie it, and, you, and it 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 pain stricken me to throw it out. Like there was by the it by was. my dumpster, like there's always cool furniture that people throw out yeah. by the dumpster, and there was like you know one of those four shelf plastic, you know, it's a shelf that you connect together. You dragged it into your place? Well, I dragged You're it dumpster in. diving at your age? <laughs> They're not, no, they're right next to it. You're going to break a hip. <laughs> that, you're not a college student. You're it's, fucking 57. I know, it's fun, though. And it's not fun. <laughs> it is. It is. So you were excited when you, you found the shelf? And I took it in the house. And, yeah. And then next uh -huh. thing you know, I, I go away for the weekend. I see it back out. Mm -hmm. Bonnie took it out. And then when she was gone, I snuck it back in, right. and I cleaned it off perfectly with Fantastic, and now all my kids' stuffed animals are in it. So why, Ugh. you know, it's the same as... Uh, Buy a new one. That's just gross. It was garbage. It was You're an entertainer. You're not supposed to be using other people's <laughs> garbage. <laughs> Listen, some people's garbage are some people's treasures. All right. You never we've went heard, and did we've uh, heard that. You never did. I did that when I was in college. We were driving well, around the neighborhood to, trying to find couches and stuff that were left out. I didn't go to college, so I'm Obviously. doing it now. Yeah. But, hey, listen, we, there was a beautiful one of those bikes that go like this, you know, where you pedal. And a recumbent yeah. bike? What's that? He Is it called a recumbent bike? He just described thing? a bike from 1972. The one with yeah. the, the first giant front wheel, <laughs> a little teeny back wheel. Yeah, it had a big front wheel. No, he just described the, the, the first workout bikes it's like a where, a, where the arms move yeah. and everything. Yeah. So where, where did you find that? At the dumpster. And, and you brought it home? Well, until Bonnie made me bring it back. Okay, yeah. good. And my, good for her. Those, right? The, the, where? That's real old yeah. school. Oh, yeah. but Those are some of the first exercise bikes. Yeah, but they're like the best. They're because not the best. You yeah. can do arms and... I mean, I would never do it. But in case we get a house where we have... Oh, my a gym. God. So you're bringing stuff home that you know you'll never use, but you might someday. You might if build you a house with a gym. House. No, when we get a new house, when we sell our townhouse. And get, get a, a gym. House. Why don't you just buy one then? You can afford it. You just buy one. Right. You buy a new one. You don't go get the garbage so, and get an exercise bike from 1978. <laughs> I, it was and then hoard it in case you might work out yeah. in your might new house. He's a hoarder. Rich is a hoarder. <laughs> I didn't know this about you. What? I can't help it. I have shirts I haven't worn in three years. They're brand oh, new. Oh, fuck I know. that. It's hard to get rid of them. It's no, hard, brand new. Brand I figured new. that out with clothes. Big What's pile, that? and I just fucking throw it away. I'm throwing stuff into Goodwill. No problem. Like true religion and polo in Goodwill. Yeah, you good. Know? Let them have it. It's, Why? They're just going to steal it. At if the, you haven't... It's so easy. If you haven't worn that shirt in a year... You're not. You're never gonna wear it. So you just throw it away. It's freeing. It's yeah, easy. But you just you buy it because you're you feel empty and depressed. So you know throwing it out doesn't help. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just, I don't we got know. a prison guard that wants to talk about um, Hollywood Henderson. You brought him up. You met him. Did he play in the the golf tournament? Who? Hollywood Henderson. Yes. I thought you said the prison guard. Oh, how, how did he shoot? I didn't play. I wasn't with him. He was in the group behind me. But how did you guys start talking to each other? Uh, someone introduced us and broke both of our anonymity. And uh, we started talking, and he was great. You know, he gave me his phone number, said, call him if I'm ever in his town. Where's so how about Dallas? we call him now? I can't call him now and wake him up. Why? Why? <laughs> That's not how we do things around here. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? Is he, is he in Dallas? No. Okay. Was well, he on the West Coast? No, he's in uh, text him. Florida. Oh, okay. East Coast. At least text him. Maybe he's up and maybe we could get a few minutes with him today. That would be cool. All Let's right. say hi to Chad in Texas. A, used to be a prison guard. Chad. Yes, sir. Hey. Hello. You're how's on the radio. How's it going? Good, yeah, good. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead, Chad. 
Yeah, I used to be a prison guard, and when Hollywood Henderson won the lottery the first time, he liked to spend it all donating satellite dishes to all the prisons. And then when he won the second time, it kind of saved his ass. Well, the first, did he, he didn't blow through $28 million, though, did he? Uh, they said he nearly blew through all of it, donating it to different stuff. But part of it was donating satellite dishes to the prisons. How much did he did time in prison? I think so. I, I don't know how much, but right. uh, I, I'm pretty sure he went away. Really? Yeah, uh, yeah, he did. That's why he did it, supposedly, so they could get the uh, I can't remember the minister's name, so they could get the church revivals and stuff on the satellite dish. Okay, I'm wondering if he. Uh, I'm wondering if he got sober in jail and that was his way of giving back. I don't remember this, the book has been many years. And, did he, and, he, 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 and, he, and he won the lottery twice. Yeah. God. That, yeah, that's a Within a few months, it was like less than a year for. And he really hit for twenty eight million, like Rich is saying. Do we have the yeah. we have that number? Yeah, Sam is saying yeah, twenty eight million. Wow, yep. had no idea. Yeah. And he donated. I don't know the exact number, but it wasn't in the millions because he had it just one part of it or whatever. But right, yeah, I heard the, heard the second wins what saved because his ass donated all the first time. He donated the whole twenty eight million. Nearly. I mean, I'm sure he blew through part of it, but they said donate and we'll eat up a bunch of it. He donated a lot of that money. Wow. All right, let's get him on the phone. Text them at least. All right. Well, I mean, not seven thirty. Let's give it to eight thirty. All right, we can do that. Thank yeah, you, Chad. He played on with the Cowboys Thank from seventy five to seventy nine. Right. Miss you, Anthony. Sorry, y'all going through that. I know. Right on, thanks, brother. man. Uh, let's say hi to Bill in Virginia. Bill. Hey, what's up, Bill? Hey, buddy. Hi, Bill. Hey, Hello, Bill. Dear, dear God, please let please strike boss mute within the next five minutes. That, that there cannot be any way that you're considering this. Stuttering, spitting fool. Oh, really? Uh, <laughs> Did I stutter once, you fucking idiot? Okay, with the same hacky calls. He, he Ten has, years. He has creepy confidence because <laughs> he's not here. I have confidence when he's here. You have a lot more energy. I have no You're energy. You're a lot more focused. I got up at 4.30 today, that's why. You why? Just, you just killed for a half hour for us. 4.30 because I was... confidence rich, do you? Why'd oh, you get up early? Right. I got up at 4.30 because it takes Thank me an, an, an hour to, to, to go to the bathroom. And you want to take a while to shit? It takes about an hour. Do you have roids? What's that? Do you have roids from, from sitting there? Why does it take no. an hour? No, I don't sit on the toilet. Oh. I wait till... Oh, okay. I don't sit there for a fucking hour. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking what? idiot. I don't, I don't know. How do I know? <laughs> so what? You can't leave the house until you shit? Yeah, well, I'm going to be half Are you one of those guys that traffic? Can't, you can't shit here? No, I can, but I'm there scared. There are people can... that can't shit at, at their workplace. I hate shitting at work. Well, I don't. I'll, I'll oh, then, sh then stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> you, that, you can't do another shit joke. I know, but he I did, didn't... and his little hands <laughs> moved together quickly as you he said. That's the first shit joke I did. No, you said something like about me taking a dump in the bathroom. You, yeah, you, no, I didn't. You should did before. I said doing your act in the bathroom. Well, right, I know. I said taking a dump in your reference in my act. Oh, I thought you said you were all right, Spider. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you look good. Thank you. Uh, what about me? I lost weight. Oh God, Jesus! Enough. We both need boy. compliments yeah, today. That is true. <laughs> we do. Yeah, yes. we do. We're hurting. I'll we got you. the shit beat out of us the last week and a half. All, all the online pictures of you. Yeah. And I'm not. You look stunning. I don't know where, the, <laughs> when they're from, or where they're, where they're from. Like, all, they're from all over the it's place. Fucking, it's like you had makeup run in and take. You know no, these fucking no makeup. But they're they're really stunning. Mm. Uh, Thanks, Rich. I just got it before thirty because no, I got a question. So, so you wait until you should, and then you finally, finally leave the, leave the house. house. Yeah, because I'm not going to get caught in traffic and have to. Sh you can't hold it in because I take Citrusel. Doctor Steve says Citrusel is much better than Metamucil, so I take Citrusel right. at night. Fascinating, and, and it it's good for you. It, it clears out your yeah, but you, oh, yeah. you're still waiting an hour. As soon as the alarm clock goes off, I'm shitting within five minutes. Really, every, every morning, yeah. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, yeah. I shit in the afternoon. I wake up. I fucking, I, I you know, brush my teeth, go through my morning ritual. I fucking go to the gym after this. And then when I get home, a lot of times I'll have to stiff leg and I can finally shit when I get home. I can never shit first thing in the morning. <laughs> fuck. Really? No. I remember one time when I was a kid, because my stomach was always fucked up. I was at the playground and I had, a, you know, when you get to cramps. Down, <laughs> yeah. The nice and low. Cramps? Yeah. I, I was running home. I had a long, one of those long blocks, and I'm fucking. I run up to my house, 
and my fucking button, I couldn't unbutton my button. I'm on the, uh, above the toilet. I finally unbutton my button, and I go to sit down, and I shit all over my <laughs> pants. And all, I was this far away from the fucking toilet. And I'm not talking, I'm talking fucking just pudding flying all over the fucking place. It was disgusting. I love, it. I love a good shit story. Love a good shit your pants story. I feel like we're too okay. old for the for shit stories, but I, 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 do, I love them. I threw a hooky party once, like all the kids came to my house. And so, there was like 40 kids right. in my house. And <laughs> this kid, Frank, got so fucked up. And he passed out and shit all over the bathtub and this and that. So I had some girl clean it. But there was still some in the fucking grout or something. And my mother came home. You know, the house was clean. And all of a sudden, in the bathroom, she could smell shit. And I got busted for throwing the party because this fucking idiot shit all over my bathroom. Well, how'd she know Jesus. it was shit? Who admits that, yeah, that's shit in the grout? I wouldn't just say, I don't know. Because it smelled like shit. It, it wasn't chicken parm. No, I it know, smelled. but you just lie. Like, I don't smell it. You just lied to her. <laughs> no idea what you mean, Mom. Well, she found, like, three beer bottles under her bed. Oh, that, okay, that's what it was. Uh, and it's probably not the beer that she, she... Normally, under her bed, it would be called 45 bottles. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, she fucked black eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. We, we have to take a few calls here. Uh, let's say hi to Josh in Boston. Josh! Hey, I had something for Boss, but I also am also a trash man, so I'll get to that in a second. But Rock Boss, be careful with the ticks. My son had a dead tick on him, and then the so whole summer had Lyme disease. So be a headache for us. He was sick at the time. I was felt so bad for him. All you would do is see him squint because the, the, the pain was so unbearable. Yeah, I, I really didn't know that about ticks, that you could get Lyme disease. Hey, what happens when a rattlesnake bites you? <laughs> you <laughs> fucking <laughs> moron. Of course, that's why I'm, why I'm scared of ticks. No, I thought they were going to bring me good luck. You fucking idiot. Be, be careful of ticks. Hey. What's up with his confidence? I know, the guy's calling in to be nice, <laughs> tell a nice story about his son, and you and you turn on him. Well, I mean, cause I what, you I'm are, sorry. You treated him the same way as the guy who insulted you. I also have an offer for you. I'm a trash man in Boston. You should see the shit I can pick up. I hey. found cash registers with hundreds of dollars in them. Come on. I swear to God, I, it was, I pulled the drawer out, nothing. I reached in the back, way in the back, and in the spring, there was a stack of five $100 bills. Get the fuck. Here's a, here's a question. How many times do you see, like, rats when you're picking up the trash? Like, oh, my fucking God, on a daily basis. Big, big fucking rats? Like, oh my god! Yeah, not nothing like cat size, like people say. But you know, fucking. Are, are you know. used to them? Yeah, you get used to it. It's nothing, nothing really phases me. I anymore. love watching rats in the city. Oh, I know fuck. you guys have some of those uh, sure. rat stories that you would go out of your way to check out the rats, right? We would go feed the rats. We would go feed them, throw candy, Reese's cups, and and peanut butter, and they'd come scurrying out. I love oh, watching so I, rats. You know, I, Boston, I offered to take you golfing, but you never responded to me on uh, Twitter. So. That's not true. Recently, uh, when I was there, absolutely, you were talking about golfing. I said, "Come on, you have it's a, um, about." No, no, no! You said uh, we, you said we'll play TPC next time I'm up there. No, it was a place in Charleston, Massachusetts. I offered. Um, I'm a Lions DJ uh, service on um, Twitter. Who cares? Oh, yeah. All right. All right. I'm sorry. Next time, I, you, I real, you ran we'll out play. of steam, Josh. Well, Thank well, you. you just, I'm sorry, just, All right, brother. What were we just talking about? I had a thought. Rats. 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 Oh yeah, girl. I know. We were going to go out to dinner recently, and she never called me. I was so fucking annoyed. And um, she's like, yeah, I was away for business, but she's like, and the day I was supposed to see you, I stepped on a rat. No. And it bit me. Get, Get the fuck, the fuck out, out of here. Yeah, and, and I know she's telling the truth because right. nobody would make that up. She's like, about 100 people a year get bit in New York, and I was one of them. And she was, she was walking out to get coffee in the morning. And she just stepped on it, and I guess the only time they bite is if you step on it. Did she have to go get rabies shots? No, she said they're too. They don't carry rabies, but uh, I forget what she had to do. They're Wait, too. Do I don't you, think rats carry rabies. Are come you on. kidding me? Yes, some they, do. Oh well, they I, have to. For some reason, she didn't have to. I would say they have to. Uh, let's take uh, this call from Jack in Rhode Island. Jack, what's going on, man? Hey, buddy. Hi, Jack. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. I mean. Where are all the uh, O and A fucking callers? I mean, no one's calling in asking about Anthony or fucking upset about. I mean, I heard it yesterday. I mean, I gotta tell you, oh, I'm not. I'm not. You gotta think I'm bashing on you. You I mean you're fucking brilliant? You are a brilliant radio guy. I mean, you played the fucking sympathy card yesterday perfectly. Like you know how fuck you guys are. 
and how great Anthony is, and you know how well off he is. You know, you know what's going to happen in October. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen in October. You're going to fucking resign. You're going to resign with Jimmy. Jimmy's acting all sad. He's going to fucking make. He's going to add a zero to his number, or maybe he's already got enough zeros, and it's going to go up. You know, whatever it is, it's going to go up. And you guys seem like it's it's all fucking good. Now here, dude, let me say what you're saying. This is what's irritating about what you're saying. You're implying that we're we're putting on either a fake sympathy or a fake something for Anthony, and none of it's fake. It's it's not some uh, sad attitude. It's like we're in a position like, what would you have us do? Well, what I have you do, I'm yes. going to say what I what I wish would. Ha- I understand that you guys right now have to be there because you're under contract. But I I'm a loyal listener. I listen to every fucking show. You guys have been doing bits about apologies. That was going on for like a few weeks. How come you guys just are standing like United to say, look, uh, he didn't say anything in those fucking tweets that haven't been said on that show. And how come we just stand with some solidarity and say, look, he gets resigned back. You guys take him back in October or we're walking. So I mean, let me ask you a question. question. So do you think that we're having every conversation that we have behind the scenes, do you think we're having on the air? Like literally, I, I, let me let me let me ask you: If you're a guy who's a loyal listener, do you think that every single discussion we've had with the agent or with people behind the scenes or with Anthony is on the radio? I know you only know what we tell you, but don't try to get into our motivations. You know, we, but, you, there's nothing fake about us missing Anthony. It's like we don't know what to fucking do. We're not playing a sympathy card. Right. It we, is what it is. You only know a small. Hold on. You only know a small part of this, sir. I mean, I was just talking to Anthony yesterday. You know, and. uh and, and we can't play all our cards. And the fact is that we are under contract. You know, the cunt Howard Stern had a lot to say yesterday. He's a piece of shit, a classless piece of shit, because he doesn't know he doesn't know uh, anything about our contract. We cannot just walk. Uh, breach of contract. It, no, but that that came up yesterday as well. We can't just fucking walk. Breach of contract is a real big deal, and we could we could be sued for millions. And, and of course, okay. Howard had to get his big okay. fucking okay. nose involved in, in our our shit. He said, "Hey, if if Robin got fired, I'd leave tomorrow." No, he wouldn't. Everyone knows he's just fucking lying. He wouldn't leave the company. The, he he sued the fucking company and he lost. And he was right back on his fucking radio show. So go fuck yourself, Howard Stern. You don't know shit about me or my business. He's just a fucking liar. He always has and always will be a classless piece of shit. That was something that was going to come out a little later, but I'm glad I did it right there. Fuck you, Howard Stern, you dope. Yeah, so, so you and your say- teeth and your hair look ridiculous. <laughs> Go ahead, buddy. I understand that, Opie. I don't expect you guys to be But worried. I'm just saying that's well, part of the equation. And then but, uh, we laid it out yesterday. I mean, let me just... Let me just say this, please. Go ahead. There are, there are, there are, you have fans. You have built look, I got turned on to you guys back in 1994. I'm here in Rhode Island. I used to listen to you guys constantly on AAF, and I haven't missed a fucking day of you on satellite radio. To a lot of people, I know you put down the fans a lot, and sometimes it's just joking around and everything. I don't put the fans down a lot. See, this is what's so frustrating. Like Jimmy said, you only know a little piece of of, uh, the equation here. I I love the people that listen to this radio show. Of course I do. Well, it means a lot. I mean, the show... I goof on you guys, and I goof on, like, the the stupid, uh, you know, Twitter people and that dumb Twitter voice. That's just a goof. I I, I appreciate uh, just about everyone that listens to this show. And let me tell you something else, too, Ope. This is... You're right yesterday when you said, this isn't you against Anthony. Look, if you got fucked, I'd be making the same call if it was Anthony and Jimmy. Those people that canceled their... And, and, and you just said something. Hold on. You said something there that needs to be said. If, if I was the one that got fired, I'm telling you right now, Anthony would be here with Jimmy. No, he, he just would, he would be. Work. He would work. He just it. would be. He would and, work. and I wouldn't be insulted by that. Just like he's not mad. Just like he's not mad at, at us for continuing for now. I'll, I'll read. I'll read. Hold on. Uh, you know, because you need more info. Because you 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 think you know everything. So let me read this from yesterday. Uh, me and Anthony went back and forth a lot yesterday. Let's see. 
Uh, I know you're in a strange position, but good luck tomorrow. I totally understand what you guys have to do, and it's cool. Let me know how things go. Keep in touch, yo. All right, I read that one yesterday. Then he he had a whole conversation. He, he reached out to me yesterday because, and, and it frustrates me that I'm not doing radio with him because this would have been an hour. I, I'm going to just say it. I, I, he, he wouldn't care. Dominic Barbara stopped by his fucking house yesterday. Oh. That's the lawyer that fucked him in his divorce. And now Dominic Barber is feeling a little guilty, I guess. He stopped by Anthony's yesterday. And guess what? Anthony reached out to me like, holy shit, you're not going to believe this. He goes, dude, right. you know who stopped by my house today to see how I'm doing? Dominic fucking Barber and his chick sat in my house and talked for like 45 minutes. He's fresh out of rehab. I think he's making amends. Kind of felt bad for him. He's been ridiculously humbled. Strange shit, though. So then I wrote, okay, look, if this is my private conversation. I don't give a fuck. Okay, this shit is getting fucked up, I wrote back to him. What the fuck could he possibly say to you, and why did you let him in? He writes, ha, 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 my, my brother said I should have treated it like a home invasion. I just wanted to see what he had to say. He was uh, apologetic about the way he acted in court, said he was on pills and booze for years. Probably shouldn't be reading this, but I, I, I have nothing to lose uh, with anything at this point. Start asking about sales staff for my show, ha, 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 just weird shit. His chick was with him, the one he was arrested for choking. Dude, you can't write shit like this. I wrote, wow, no kidding. And then I wrote, hey, Aunt, your brother was great today. You should be proud. And then he wrote, yeah, great job uh, that you all did yesterday. So there you go. That's where I'm at. Yeah, but I'm not, you're not listening to what I'm saying. I'm not saying, I'm sure Anthony would be there. But what I'm saying, what I'm trying to say to you is the people that are, that are, are twitting with Anthony and saying I'm standing with Aunt. These people would be doing the same for you, Opie. I mean, this is the fucking shit. I you don't know, have a problem. But no one has a problem with that. I don't understand. I'm making more jokes. I said the new show is going to be called Benedict and Arnold in the morning and all that. I completely, uh, I completely understand everything you guys are doing. I get it. Yeah, no one's but crying. But it just puts it. us in a weird position. We want that's the all. Show back. That's what we want. We don't. We want I understand, and if it makes sense, we'll we'll you know put it back together. We'll see. What do you think we want, dude? What What do you? Th it's like this would annoy you. Just called and goes. Oh no, you're gonna resign, and Jimmy's gonna add an extra zero. So don't act like you're just calling as a concerned fan. You called up with like that douchey thing. Like we're being dicks for doing this. I called up Jimmy as a frustrated fan. Yes. Okay. If it came across douchey at the beginning. Yeah, probably did, but I'm a frustrated fan. Why are you frustrated with us, dude? We didn't do it. I'm not frustrated. We had nothing to do, uh, w w you know, with this. You do understand, though. I understand that you guys can't tell everybody everything, but only the fans can only go on perception. You do understand that, yes. right? Yeah, I understand. Okay. So when you're going on perception, sometimes it seems like you just don't give a fuck. I don't Does mind the fans. Say? I don't know. I think we've uh, shown we give a fuck. I don't mind the fans going on perception, but just understand that you're going on perception and don't call up like, hey, you guys are doing it's, it's like it's it stinks, dude. It's a situation we're thrown into. And, and Obi's right. If we just walk like people think that we should, like we're 15 and we can just walk away from a contract because our friend got fired. It, and they want to come after us for whatever the next project is, if there's a next project, then what do we do? Jimmy, I don't think you guys, I understand it. I do. I don't think you should walk. I know you guys can't walk. All I'm saying is just the perception and that I get. I heard yesterday's show, and I hear today. And, you know, you just feel like, it's like your family breaks. It's like an extension of your family breaks apart. Oh, yeah. It's, and, you just, and you just want yeah. to hear them say, look, it's going to be all right. I know. And, you know, that's all. I mean, it means a lot. It means no fucking corny or whatever. But the show means a lot to some people. It means a lot to me. Yeah, I get it. I do I, get it, and you know, but... We're in just a, like I said yesterday, open up the show saying we're in a horrible, shitty position. How come? And we don't know how this is going to work out. I mean, you know, I, in the end, do we all get back I mean, together? You Hopefully, get but. Back together? Oh, do you want to work with them? I mean, does he want to work with you? I mean, are you being, are you being honest with us? I mean, do you guys want to be together anymore? Do you, do you yeah, to absolutely. But, you know, I think he's going to go off and do his thing for a little while. I really what believe, I, I really believe he's excited to go off and do his own thing for a little while, and then we see how it plays out. Let me just say this, and then I'll... And I don't think that's crazy to say. I mean, no. me and Ann have had no uh, uh, discussions about actually moving on with a podcast at this time. That is right. the God's honest truth. And and like I said yesterday, if we're doing a podcast, I, 
you know, as as everyone thinks it would be the perfect scenario for me to move my whole family out to Long Island and and go in Anthony's house every day, I wouldn't do it that way. I don't. Expect- so we might have a problem with that because I think if you are going to move on to the podcast world, which is a very tough world, you have to you have to have it uh, in New York City, where all the action is. All I'm going to say to you is this. That I've been a fan of you guys from day one. And this fucking show cannot end. You cannot go down this fucking way. I mean, I don't know how long it's going to take, but you can't, you know, those motherfuckers that like Howard Strand, fuck them. I mean, look, he, he was around. He's a fucking pioneer in the game. Who gives a fuck about him? I mean, well, you see, know, see uh, the, you're believing everything he says. No, I just believe everything that, you know, the, the public, you know, they, they pay him. Why do you think he's a pioneer in the business? I really need to know. Because well, he told he, you for, for 25 years? No, it, Opie, the reason why I say it, and if I'm wrong, you can, you, can, you can correct me. Wasn't he, like, kind of the first jock out there doing that shit? No, Bob, or am right. I wrong? No, there were a bunch of guys that were doing it before Steve him. Dahl. Steve Dahl. Steve uh, Dahl, I know for a fact he used to get tapes of Steve, Steve Dahl sent to him. You know, Steve Dahl just wasn't as good at it as as Howard ended up being. But Steve Dahl right. certainly did a lot of that stuff before Howard. Yeah, that's a that is a fact. It's been in books. It's uh, people that know about radio know about that shit. And dude, that's not even important. Look, you're grieving. You're grieving something. I get it. Believe me, it's frustrating, and you want to just make it okay. And I'm the the, the miracle is that we got ten years. Of this show, right? That, I mean, I, that's all. How do you think I feel? I mean, I'm, I, this is the greatest gig I've ever had. There's nothing I love doing more than this. Nothing in my career more than radio. And fucking. Let me ask you a question, Jimmy. You're an honest guy. Every time I hear you talk, you seem like you you, you, you talk. You what? Know, from from your fucking heart. Hold on, what? I mean, <laughs> if, if you don't. If the show goes forward, you don't stand to benefit. <laughs> But it's, it's, yeah. it's something you like way more. Oh, it's right. called dudes. <laughs> oh my god! I thought it was gonna be a dick sack, a sucky reference. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, uh, um, no, dude. It's uh, a benefit ha- in what way though? Like, like what you think? If I was, if I sign, would I make more money? Yeah, but if I don't yeah. sign, I'll also make more money on the road because I can go on the road more. I make more money. Th- I'll tell you something personal about my finances. I make more money doing stand up than I do in radio. Okay, but doesn't uh, fucking radio help you? you Obviously, know. it's helped me a lot, but I'm just telling you something. Uh, radio, I don't live and die on my radio money. I make more doing stand up. Look, I, I, I don't know how I'll come across to you guys. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm a I, fan of the fucking show, man. I don't give a fuck about Howard Stern. I wouldn't fucking listen to right. him if they gave him to me for fucking free over but you guys. He's, but he's brilliant, man. He'll tell you no, every fucking day. Brilliant. I didn't use that word. He's fucking brilliant, dude. Well, fuck and everyone else mean. stinks. Don't forget well, that. Jack, no, I, get, I, I I understand where you're coming from, for real. I do. And I do understand, you know, uh, the outpouring of love for Anthony and, and, and everything no, that... Every, hold on! Show. Everything I read on Twitter... Hold on! Everything on Twitter I get, believe it or not. But, me, you know, me and Jimmy are in this situation, and I, I try to keep it light uh, the last week or so on Twitter. I'm just trying to get a few laughs in today, and then we'll see what happens tomorrow. I really don't know how this is going to pan out. As I sit here today, do you think the fans would have been behind you the way they're behind Anthony? Of course they would have. Of course they would. I know all that. I really do, right. and I and I understand the people that are canceling. Of course I understand. I understand everything. All right, I really do. But my goal is if it, hold on, hold on, sir. It, my goal is to to continue to have a voice. The, another reason why we're here. Also have a place where maybe Anthony could come back to, or maybe we take this whole fucking thing somewhere else, or maybe we do continue without each other for a while. You know, I would love to. I would love to go to a big, huge platform if we were going to continue, not 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 at Aunt's house. I don't want to be at Ant's house. I fully well, the, a lot of the fans think think it's as easy as that. Quit, no, get sued for millions, move your family out to Long Island because you hate the city anyway, and 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 broadcast from Anthony's uh, basement. Nope, that's what but they think. What I, that's what they think. It's it's a little I, more complicated than that. I, I actually I do want to leave the city, yeah. and I want to I want to move to Jersey. I can't hear this guy. 
Here's All right, Jack. You, he's fine, but he just keeps... He, Jack, I know you're a great fan, but he just keep, every time you're saying something, he's like... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to like get you know, on a roll here, brother. I'm just trying to <laughs> hang up on me, man. I just want to get my... No, we, we gave you 15 minutes, so okay. it's not like we're just hanging up on you. Uh, Jack, I, 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 honestly, in the end, I do respect your call. All right? Thank you for being a fan of Obi and Anthony. All right. Thank you, buddy. Jack in Rhode Island. Oh. Fucking Rich was uh, killing it for us. Here, see, it's this is heavy shit. I know. And you walk in and you, you sit it, right it, in his fucking chair, guys. Well, yes, Bob. Guys, you got a tear in your eye. I brought baked. <laughs> I brought baked goods. <laughs> what? What, what are the odds? <laughs> well, <laughs> you brought they, antique they, fucking they, gifts. They, I figured they, I'd bring what I was expected I, to bring food. <laughs> they, I'm saying the odds that they made it here. <laughs> it's oh. just mean. I hate you. You right. sitting in that seat makes me want to cry. He's standing. <laughs> <laughs> Get it torn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, fuck oh. you. Take it. <laughs> Wipe your but, teeth off and take it. <laughs> Whoa, but, but Bobby, Bobby practicing the car. The, <laughs> the brilliance of the whole thing. Jimmy went off on this whole thing. How he can't sit there. No one should sit there. And then I was like, maybe we'll build a glass box around it. Yeah. This dummy walks right in and sits <laughs> down. You fucking. When steak. I sat here before, what's the big deal? It's because a fu it, it, he's gone. That's why it's like sitting in Archie's chair, you fucking idiot. <laughs> okay, the only one you'd fit in, you stupid jackass. <laughs> wow, the show's back. <laughs> yeah, that didn't take a long. But uh, here, can I give my two cents? Yeah, I want to plug something that we're doing. Okay, we're then your two cents after the break. How's that? Yes, yeah. we're going to Montreal. Uh, I can't believe they're actually going to do the broadcast, but we are yeah. doing it, which is great. I think it's good that we're doing it. I said no, 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 and then I'm like, all right, fuck. It's next because I mean, look, it's all our pals. Did you sing no, 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 no? Yeah. <laughs> next Thursday, Friday, from seven to ten at the Hyatt Regency in Montreal at the festival. Um, very limited seating, just like last time. And people, a lot of people complained they couldn't get in. Here's the new email to give out. OJ Montreal at gmail.com. What? That's the new email to respond. You have to RSVP for this because the tickets will be gone. OJ Montreal, one word. Mm. Uh, the guests are going to be uh, Greg Proops, Tom Papa, Ron White, Jim Jeffries, Kurt Metzger, DePaulo will be there, of course, Bobby Kelly. Mark Marin, Ari Shafir, Pete Holmes, and more guys, whoever's up there. I mean, it's going to be a lot of people. We had, a fun, we had fun last year. It yeah, was great. Switch. Uh, Montreal, uh, Saturday the 26th, we're doing our live podcast at 4.30 in the afternoon, and Bill Burr will be our oh, celebrity cool. marriage counselor. That's great. At 4.30 at Montreal Comedy Festival. You can't plug anything. Yet. I don't want to plug you anything. Have, you haven't done anything yet. I, you, you, you I don't. I'm not plugging anything. <laughs> okay. kind of I'm, I'm not plugging anything <laughs> in solidarity with Anthony. Fuck my plugs. That's why I'm standing with Ant. All right, I'll be cool. in Montreal. Uh, <laughs> what kind of baked goods? I brought uh, from the chick who, you know the chick from CSI, the fucking grunge chick? No. All right, whatever. Yes, I do. Mm. She has a bakery up the street. The dark hair one. Yep. Yeah. Is she pretty? She she's, wears short she's, dresses. Yeah, she's cute for you. She looks, yeah. She's, she's still on like that show? Yeah, she has tats and wears she's a collar. Yeah. I don't fucking know. Don't what, know. Do you, what am I? Uh, An ox. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that's just fucking awful. Oh, I'm in the middle of my emotional speech, you're telling me I blow guys, but that's okay. <laughs> right. that's you're wrong. I never said you blew guys, you fucking queer. I'm, I'm, I just I'm said just you like guys. I, no, I don't like guys. It's gross. <laughs> I'm going to hold hands with them. No, get out of here. I brought. Uh, he was in the, the middle of an emotional speech. Yeah, nice speech. Uh, it just you comes out. Your I, look at He said something, and it's All like right, when someone what? says 69. I go. No, it says the thing I like. Like most in life, I think. Mm. All right. Why were you giggling at 69, Rich? No, because I thought he was ordering off a Chinese menu. Oh, oh, no, 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 And the other guy's gone guy. What the fuck? So what the fuck are these two supposed to do? Just pretend like nothing ever happened? What do you call this fucking show? This is Bush League, guys. This is fucking Bush League. I don't even be part of this. All right, fine. Uh, welcome back. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. It's uh, me, Rich Voss, Jim Norton, and Bob Kelly in studio. It's like the olden days, almost. 
What? The olden days. What's the olden days? The last time uh, and then, you know, and we got together, Bobby and I. And then, I love doing radio with Bobby. Oh. I love doing it with Bobby. Colin, too. Not Keith. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, Rich brought <laughs> gifts for everybody. And then, of course, as soon as we go to break, he, he tries to hand it to Bob Kelly without the big reveal on the radio show. Yeah. It's amazing. I, I, watching you do that, I was like, what do you, how do you not give it to him on the air? I will. Uh, you know what? Listen to me. Why do you guys even ask the question, why? He's with Rich. <laughs> why are we doing that still? What do you mean? He's deaf, blind, dumb. He's going to do... What did I say? I Listen, said, you don't know how to do radio. And Bobby goes, stop it, you don't know. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Add anything at the end of that how sentence. Is, how do you... Radio, <laughs> marriage, friendship. How do you know? Did I send you nice gifts for your... Uh, kid's birthday. You really did. He okay. gave him. You know what he gave him? A polo shirt. Two polo shirts. Nice. Two polo shirts. Okay. Well, it's not a stretch. That's all he wears. Exactly. He, Rich Voss wears the worst. Can we just? Uh, he probably actually gave your kid his old shirts. And they <laughs> 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 that was good. I know it was. That was, fucking, that was dwarf. The worm Shut up. came up with a good one. <laughs> <laughs> you get scared. My bird tattoos are going to eat you. <laughs> Fucking worm. Oh, you're fucking matching robins on either uh, arm? They're cardinals. Cardinals. You want to know, you know, you know the enemy? <laughs> Doesn't he look like the buzzard from the Bugs Bunny cartoon? <laughs> you want to find Norton, just pick up a rock. <laughs> then what, take a bite out of it? Thank wow. you. I knew you'd get God greedy. You it, always do. Always. How can you call anybody fucking dumb? <laughs> That's Bobby's aerobics. <laughs> oh, God. Why? No, it wasn't funny. We wouldn't laugh if it was funny. No, you yeah. you know how I identify a funny thing? I laugh at it. <laughs> yeah, dummy. Stop acting like we were not laughing. Yeah. Because uh, it's you. We yeah. team up again. No, that we don't. Oh, Rich Voss is gone. We don't team up. No, there was. Yes. We laughed at three out of the four. That's pretty good. That's fucking, Gets you in the you Hall of Fame. glasses on your head. Yeah, yeah take the glasses. Yeah, take, take them off. off your head. Have you seen Can I feel like glasses? I'm talking to just an old friend? Can I, can I see those glasses? Yeah, no. Why? No. What happened? Are you going to jump on them, pretend they're a cake? Whoa, <laughs> back to some wacky <laughs> cake radio. <laughs> Shut up. You're not jumping on my breaking anything, okay? Opie, Opie's scared. We're he has to go break shit now. <laughs> We're reinventing ourselves. Anthony's gone. Here. I think I'm going to break glasses. I'm going to go back to breaking shit. I'm going to throw poker chips across the room. Ooh. Ah, fucking chip sucks. <laughs> fucking hate. Um, so you brought yeah. uh, what? Scones. I brought scones from the uh, chick yep. from CSI's bakery. The uh, grunge chick uh, from the bakery. I had there. one little bite of the scone. Was How good. was yeah. it? It was fine. They're great. I took a bite. I don't care. I wasn't finished with my story yet. <laughs> How be well, go ahead with your scone story. <laughs> it, was, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think? <laughs> your turn. <laughs> All right. What, you want to give Bobby your gift? Oh. We got gifts today. Hold, hold oh. on, hold on. But, uh, so Jimmy got a couple autographs. Two. That was nice. That's great. From who's Hollywood he? Henderson and who, Two Tall Jones. Two Tall Jones. That's yeah. nice, well, right? Who are they on? Cigarettes? Uh, pretty much like index cards. Was it an index card? And no, then, they're on my business cards. And this, this is my gift. His interview in Penthouse Forum. Seven pages. That's my gift. <sighs> Instead of here. Right. That was more of a here. You oh, might want to read this. I, that was, you you know presented what? this like it was a, a real gift. Well, you know what? The reason is because that was for... Uh, for your, your wife. Uh, Can I see that? No, because you're going to rip it or throw it down. I, what the fuck are you talking about? Don't. That's not for him. It's his wife wanted right. it. You want to... I just, I just didn't... I never read the article. No. Don't. <laughs> you sure? No. It, no, it's okay. It's all right. Here, keep it. I'll stop. I don't like. I don't like nervous rich. What's nervous rich? Just rich. Oh. <laughs> wow. Holy doo-doo. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ugh. Let me see him. <laughs> wow, there's a penis inside of her vagina. Yeah, remember that, that used that to be. To happen. Remember that used to do it. Remember that used to do it. It still, <laughs> it still yeah, does. You, it. you you jerk off the photos. It's yes. Why really not? stories. I can jerk off the stories. Yes. You can jerk. <laughs> really, can even full jerk. circle. You're back to text. Yeah, I can. I can. I, I can't. Even, I can't stories are great when you hear story. like swinger stories and then she. What kind it. of what kind of story do you jerk off? What gets you off? That's hard to say, man. <laughs> I've gotten so jaded. Now. She now, walks in the room. <laughs> Hi, daddy. <laughs> no, I've gone full circle. Now it's nice. Do stuff. you want to play some baseball? <laughs> 
What do you mean? It's <laughs> nice stuff now? It's like I, I went. There's I, no way. After you write, after you, you read incest and shit stories, it's right back to I offered her a lilac and she smiled, and I fucking come to it. Nice. As soon so as I, I get, as soon as I get back from the firehouse, I'm gonna suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> I got a double shift, but I'm sucking that dick as soon as I get back fighting fires. <laughs> Is that the story? Well, you, you got the you got you got the who services who wrong, but <laughs> I love like every year Jim opens up a little more, <laughs> like, a little, a couple, like two years ago he was just getting sucked. Now it's like I'm sucking their dick. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, is, Jim is just going to be on the fucking Ellen Network at the end of this fucking. Hey guys, it's uh, me and Fez. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not true. But. Wow. Well, All right, it's gift time. Gift That's time. how he toned it down. Well, you know what? What was I going to say about? Ah, uh, fuck. It'll come back. Jesus, yeah, it's like doing a fucking show with my grandfather. Right. Relax. It'll come back. Give him his gift. It's time oh, for the no, gift. Yeah. And I really because talking to the mic, dum dum. You get you, we're on a show. We're not in a fucking diner. You are the dumbest fucking <laughs> human being. But I can't. And I'm just sitting here. We can't to hear you. With you, we're I'm not just, at a diner. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, that's like uh, your gigs. Right? Oh, I'll, be at, I'll, be, I'll be at Forty Third Street Diner. Hold on, he's going to present you with this. Oh shit! Wait, right. the, and the first thing you should notice is the Marlboro uh, yeah, I, logo. What the fuck is you that? You're with Marlboro Miles. Fly fishing. Okay, let me let me stop. 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 Let start with the Marlboro up. logo. It's an expensive. Can you start with the logo? Two start fishing the logo. poles in <laughs> one. Marlboro hasn't done this in 20 years. <laughs> Thank you. Well, okay. not. And who, okay. and who the fuck smokes fucking Marlboro cowboy killers? Yeah. The Marlboro Red. Nobody even smokes those anymore. How long like have an smoke? unfiltered can? I think it's nine years. Okay, so Rich hasn't smoked it oh, in at least. Oh, God. Time. It smells like a ghost. It just smells like a ghost. It's it, just yeah. It smells like old, like a, like a basement. It's, yeah. it's like a, it's like an old baseball card. Where was this? It smells thing? like my grandmother's in my slipper. Ah, it was in it your basement. Well, no, it was not in my basement. It was in my storage. It unit. smells moldy. No, no it, it doesn't smell like moldy. moldy. Absolutely. No, it's like mildew. <laughs> it's mildew. <laughs> Bobby. It you smells wanna, like mildew. You want to guess how old your gift is? It doesn't matter if someone came up to me with a brand new Mercedes from fucking nineteen. You wouldn't recognize it unless they bought it off eBay. I go. I don't want this because it's a nineteen nineties. Mercedes. I'm not driving around in this shit. Hang on, let me see this. This is actually a spinner reel. Well, yeah. Jesus. Uh -huh. <laughs> it fell apart already. <laughs> Where's the other part, Rich? It's somewhere in there. I didn't take it out. <laughs> is this it right there? Where's the Here. other part? Hold on. Talking to the mic. You're yelling at him, and now you're leaving <laughs> uh, the moldy thing talking. <laughs> there's another part that this this won't work unless there's a, a part underneath oh, please don't be there. Oh, God. No, it's Rich. in here. No, it's Shut not. It's not there. There's, we're running out of parts. It's all it's all we're foam. Out of parts. It's that cheap foam. Right. There it is. What oh. is it? Okay, let me see that. Uh, Damn it. All right, you did find the other part. Fucking nice, man. He, fucking, that's, it's a Marlboro nice. Mile. This is actually. I'm going to say this. This is actually. And I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to say this. Mm. This is actually the worst fucking gift I've ever gotten. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's not great. It's not a great. You listen. It's nine years old. First of all, it's nine years old. He's no, been saving this for nine years. In more than he quit nine years ago. Oh. This might be fucking fifteen years old. How old 12, is this? Maybe twelve or thirteen. Twelve. Oh, or shit. You're Doesn't matter. Oh, Bob spilled his coffee. Yeah, it's, it's twelve or thirteen years old. Oh my god! It's a fucking. It, that, you, I, if you looked that up online, see what it cost. I'm going to tell you right now. What is this? I'm going to look it up. Alpha. That's the name. Alpha. 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 Look that up. Alpha fly, fly fish. fishing Just rod. Just put alpha rod. Fly fishing combo uh, rod. If you put alpha rod in, you might get <laughs> yeah, a few exactly. surprises. <laughs> <laughs> put combo rod. <laughs> Type that in on, on Norton's phone. All right. Alpha Shakespeare eight Bob feet fly, fly fishing <laughs> combo. You oh, this isn't it. Is Sam, it? microphone. You're the producer. Hang on. Yeah, microphone. Sam, you're the producer. What? Yeah, it's an Alpha Fly Shakespeare eight foot fly fishing combo. Is that what yeah, we're looking that's at? That's exactly it. Oh, okay, boy. that's exactly. How it. much How does much? it go for? It goes for thirty three dollars and eighty eight cents. No, it doesn't. You said three hundred and something dollars. No, it's not thirty three. Now here's what I'm going to thirty three do uh, thirty three now. Now, but this is a nine year old. This, this uh, thing was uh, at, le uh, at least a nine. Yeah, yeah this is like a Honus Wagner car. It's not worth more money. Right. Of course, there was a lot of miles. Doesn't mean anything. Here's what I like about it, though. Okay. This, this box that it came in. I'm, right. 
right. I love. Yeah, you'll use I'll put it for my, your rod. I'll put my thousand dollar rod <laughs> right. and five hundred dollar reel in this bag. Wait, why in a moldy bag like that? It's not moldy. It? Shut up! It's it smells it. like mold. Yeah, I'll, it doesn't matter. It's old. I'll Probably never something else. It. What? The rods used. You used that, it? No, that no, part. no, no, no. You not said you went flight. fishing. I might have used, you used this. I might have <laughs> yes. used, used it. I can smell it. I know you used it. I can smell it from ten years ago. Huh? 12 years. You, I used it. You didn't do a fat were, joke in there. What's wrong no, with you? I didn't say fat joke. <laughs> Jim Norton was biting his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this this is definitely. Oh shit. Yeah. Who says my fat? Mm. I just blocked. I blocked the rod from falling on the ground with my stomach. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you also. Yep. There you go. There's your gift. Wow. Well, so, I mean, no, I it's I, nice. It's I a 13 year like old used fishing rod. I, I, I told him. I told him. <laughs> I told him. It was old he saved and I just, it for over 10 years. It's worth $30. How does it feel that you're, if you're, it's brand new? It, brand new is $30. <laughs> right. What a no, hunk of shit it, it gift. It was yeah. probably 300 right. back in the day. No, no it wasn't. No, you're out. Right. Listen to me. Javos, I, I, if there's it's no way. It's not Javos. Gervais is coming in. Yeah. Okay, you fucking... Yeah, we do have Ricky Gervais. I'm sorry, you fucking Practic you loser. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a nice gift. I, uh... Yeah, it's it's nice. It was nice 30 years ago when this came... When you got this, you're fucking flipping it. It's like Mildo. Yeah. Huh? What are you going to do with it, Bobby? Be honest. Uh, I'm going to keep it. You you're know why? Because I'm, I swear to God, I'm going to keep it. Because when I go fishing with people that don't know how to fish, you can let them use that. I'll let them use this. Looks like I'm going to be using your yep. your this gift. Is the, soon, this is Rich. called the Opie Rod. <laughs> yes, I'm going to put a nice Opie sticker if nice. you have them. I'm sure you do. Oh shit! Do I get <laughs> and, do, I, uh, do I get to get a set of golf clubs for him when I play with him? Wait, what's I got the, go, I got clubs. Sam, oh, I just don't what, have a, a fly fishing rod. What year did Marlboro Miles stop? Unlimited. It says unlimited Marlboro. Well, look at the other side. Turn it over without the Marlboro. Then it looks real. Shakespeare. Since Shakespeare. What the fuck? Shakespeare rod? Did you yeah, we, that? we looked that up. Oh, God. We found yeah. the rod. Brand new. It's $33. Oh, no. 33 bucks. 33 Now. Bucks. Other sit, sit down. Rich, please. I can't. I'm gift. standing. Thank you, Rich. Thank you for bringing the gift. You want a scone? <laughs> no, That's my gift to you. Scone. Your gift to me is all the stuff you did for us with our podcast and helping us produce those shows. That was That's the gift. gift he gets for all the hard work he put in? <laughs> 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 Dude, fuck, made you guys thousands? Yeah. I didn't take well, a seven dollar rod. Us thousands? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you could have made thousands if you didn't negotiate the deal, you dumb dumb. Yeah. I think we should only charge $5. Did you call me a dumb dumb? Yes, he did. And he's <laughs> right. You, yeah, I'm not okay, the first Kathleen, one to do it. <laughs> Kathleen Bates from Misery. Huh? Nothing. It, it, it is kind of a line from the movie, but... Yeah, I know, but yeah. he what? stinks. Yeah. I don't stink. No, you're a great guy. Th I don't honestly, care. Stop making up as you fucking... Are. I don't like the insult and then making up. No, all well, kidding aside. You, do you, you like your gift, though? Yes, my what? gift rule. Can I have my almost gift back, please? <laughs> my <laughs> gift is great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he almost gave me a gift. I would he gave me a really good on gift. My gift. No, this is actually a, not a bad gift. I will use this no, one. No, right. it's a terrible gift. <laughs> <laughs> Just the Marlboros on it. You understand, if I show up at a fucking river with a fucking uh, a, a, a rod and a Marlboro Miles case, I'm yeah. going to get laughed off the fucking river. Right. You understand that? Stop thinking, dumb dumb. Either you got it right. or you don't. <laughs> don't think river I gave, uh, and fat. I gave and years ago that I wish I had back. What's that? What? Your I dignity? Your <laughs> anal virginity? <laughs> a, sign, <laughs> a signed picture from Earl Monroe that I'm sure he doesn't have. Wow, I don't know where that is. Fucking, I, it's not hard to get. I really don't know where that is. And I loved Earl Monroe. Is it $12 for a signed Monroe? What, what year? What year is it with the Marlboro Mouse, Sam? It looks like 2006. Oh, okay. They finally. That's eight stopped. years. Yeah, but that's when they stopped. This, this, this yeah. is not from. This is not from eight years. No, that's ago. probably. I got that probably in 2003. <laughs> that's 11 years ago. That's 11 my years. Say, you've been my saving it for 11 years. years. It's probably 10 years old. I took more them, than I that. used it once, not to fly. I used a regular real one. When I took my kids fishing, then right. I found out you have to have a license to take little kids fishing. Right. Yes. It's fucking ridiculous. Do you have little to. Kids a hoarder. With a, um, you have <laughs> to. You have to because if not, you just fish out all the river. There'd be no more fish. There'd be no anything. There'd be nothing in the rivers and lakes because 
You'd f- it'd be gone because oh, really? fucking... I don't have a license. Yeah, because fish some are dummy stop like you take fucking you fucking idiot. Two okay. dummy. The fish are going. Hey, we can't fuck. He doesn't have a license. <laughs> that's that, that's how <laughs> the river is. If it fish to fucking there, fuck, then there's no more fish. There would be overfishing. There'd be overfishing because you and your dumb daughters catch a fish and let it die in a rock and don't even take it home. <laughs> that's not true. I throw it back in. All right, I throw just it back leave in it on like the pe- rock. I'll get it later. You on the fucking beach. I throw it back in. <laughs> so a license, yes, for yes. me, but not for little kids that were six and eight at the time. You don't have to buy them. What's ridiculous? Wait, there's a story there. They shut you down. No, some I was fishing, and some guy goes, "You got who was also fishing?" And said, "Do you need a license?" Yeah. And I go, even for the little kid, I didn't know. I, yeah, I because just, he, he woke up early, came to that spot, his mm-hmm. spot, was trying to really catch a fish. Right. And then, uh, fucking, he pulls up on a beamer, blaring some <laughs> disco music <laughs> with his fucking two du- if, nice kids, nice kids. <laughs> I got a little carried away. His two beautiful daughters. <laughs> and was just fucking throwing a, a hook with a piece of bread on it <laughs> right. right in front of the guy. Right. So you got a license? No. Beat it, you fucking idiot. He wanted you out of there. Five o'clock in the morning, hiking to the woods right. to get he, here. He, he probably yeah, uh, he probably could go. fish there for free without a license, but that guy just won you out. Well, out. I went and he bought won a you out. For you me. didn't want to hear you screaming at your dog. Now put it on the hook. <laughs> right. Now d- watch your eye. What kind of fishing was it? What kind of fish were you going for? I'm going to have uh, oh, oh, Was it a pond, a lake, it was a pond, a river, a river, a lake, got? a pond in in fucking a, a little hatchery, pond. maybe a hatchery. It was just something to do with my kids, you know, when yeah. I had them every yeah. day. Raising them, I go, hey, let's go fishing. It doesn't matter what you're doing as long as you're spending time with your kids. And that's the point of it. Not that we were fishing, not that we were playing basketball, not that we were going to romp around. It's that romp I was around? spending time. It's romp around. around. What's romp around? It's like a, back in the day, like a Chuck E. Cheese where kids played in, you know. I don't remember romp around. I don't remember romp around. Because you didn't have kids then. Okay, why would you know it unless you were fucking some kind of I don't of know, because we live our lives. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a fucking bomb shelter from 20 to 40. Well, that's his audience. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what could, it, what could it be? <laughs> Who's it signed by? Hold on. It's a, let me explain. I'm just opening a baseball. I'm taking it out of the wrapper. So, it's a clear case of the baseball. He goes, what's that? <laughs> you think it was a book? <laughs> No, who signed it, you fucking No idiot. one, it's unwrapped. <laughs> Wait, didn't you we hear, have Pete uh, Rose coming in. Who could it be? Like, I don't like that we we don't see the signs on the wall. Anthony, got, we should just, it should have just ended right there, and we should have just walked away, because this fucking dummy still has a platform, mm. okay? Well, first of all, don't say we, okay? That's true. Okay, because you could leave right now. No one cares. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Bye, you got a, Bobby. You got a great point. Thank you for the scones. <laughs> I've, been coming here for stopping by. I've, been, I've been coming here for 10 years, and there's still people going, who's this guy? Who's this annoying cocksucker? from Boston. <sighs> 10 years? Hey, let me ask you a question. I, you, how many kids you got? Two kids. You got three kids. Yeah. Mm. I have one kid. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like I, I, as I'm taking care of my kid and I'm doing all this stuff, mm-hmm. I try to picture my friends. Like I picture you and I can see you doing the things that I do. Sure. I can't picture Voss... Ever raising kids? Yeah, like doing He's, what you need to do. Like, Well, I can't breastfeed like you, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to use formula. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did he just the thing. That one? Here's the thing. <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking chip steaks. Don't point at me, Chip. I don't like when you point. Wait, let me tell you something. With yeah, my older daughters. Yes. My I, my kids grew up. You saw my kids at the party. They're uh, they're wonderful. They're wonderful. They're great kids. They're, they're beautiful great. and they love and there's love there. And and the, yeah. the thing is about raising kids. <laughs> Do no, we just I, say here, that? Here, here's the. I'm it's tell, I, I'll say this. It's obvious that you were a very good father and continue to be. And I said this on my podcast. And this and this is really. The truth. When we had the surprise party last two weeks ago, I'm sorry I didn't make it. I know you're out of town. Uh, happy birthday. I was there. Uh, yeah. I'm going to not bullshit. Jimmy was there. <laughs> this is a true story, and, and, you'll, and you guys might connect to this. I, wa- I was truly surprised. I walked upstairs, and at that time, there was maybe 40 people there. Mm-hmm. And all I saw was my six-year-old standing there smiling like she put this together. 
And it, it, I can't tell you the, the, the joy of brought me to see her face. I don't care. What? No. What? No. Go ahead. So, why do raise, you, what, you, how, how, how can you say I don't know how to raise kids? No, <laughs> Nothing's on. I know. Why? <laughs> why do you keep putting your headphones on? I don't care. <laughs> Look it. <laughs> There's nothing on. Relax. Why do you keep putting the headphones on? You do better radio without them on. I'm not doing anything. Go ahead. Tell your story. It's nice. I'm just saying. <laughs> your, your daughter was just, just amazed that your father had 40 friends. That's probably what it was. I don't care. <laughs> One more time. No. <laughs> what, what were you saying? <laughs> Nothing. Whatever. You know. It, so, it was nice to see your six-year-old very happy. Yeah, and she and felt just, like she planned the whole party. It was probably the best. One of the best moments in my life. Having kids. I wish it was the last. <laughs> is, that, is that your wish? Jesus. Yeah. That's not a nice wish. That's true. Yeah. That's not a nice wish. What was your point? Look at that. Eating it What's with a fork doesn't mean you're not eating it. I know. What I is your point, though? Point I don't understand is, the point. Yeah, what is the point? The point is raising kids, like you say you can't see. Uh, it's time. It's it's to, ra to for your uh, kids to grow up to be good kids. I like the fucking poor Kenny had to walk it, like uh, a mile to get a fork, attention. so he could have one, <laughs> one bite, bite and then the he throws away. it away like the prince, the fucking <laughs> right. king on Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> no, but what I, king? It's funny, the dead one. Yeah, yeah. Right. Are you like Lord Ferris? <laughs> <laughs> Except he has a bigger cock. <laughs> Lord. Why would you I ruin the fun? It. It a good, I know he's a eunuch. I understood the joke. I'm not stupid, but it was a good laugh. You have to tag it. Oh, I'm sorry. I try to help you. <laughs> yeah, I don't, don't need me. You want to help me? Hang yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Rich, make your point, though. Yeah, make I mean, you still haven't made your point. point. When Bobby... Having kids is great. I think yes. I think I, most parents I, I, understand that part. But, uh, I love the fact that he doesn't know where he is in this conversation. Okay. I do. You're ahead, saying I, I, I bring, bring it all together. Parent, a good parent, because yep. you said I, I got starts it. off, right. and yeah. the main thing right. is attention and affection. That's okay. the main thing yeah. to give a kid for them to grow up to be good kids. Right. Okay? Right. And, you know... Uh, you know, all the other bullshit. Bonnie does the arts and crafts and all that stuff with Raina and, you know, and, and I mean, she's brilliant. Changing? Do you change poop di diapers? My daughter's six. If she's still no. pooping in her <laughs> pants, okay. No, I'm talking about back in the day. Yes, of course. You Everybody. change. Okay. Yes. Wait, you you don't change the poop. I do all the time, but oh, when okay. I do it, I'm like I can't I can't picture Vaughn doing, doing this. His little hands can't go around the ankles to hold the fucking bum up. <laughs> <laughs> Help me with this. Don't give him pity laughs. That's a, <laughs> that's a great don't give laugh. Him pity laughs. Fuck you, small oh, hands. That was a great hands. small. I liked okay. it because I was uh, I was in so picturing your small hands. <laughs> yeah. Did you clean I, up? Poop. Yeah, of course I cleaned up. I, cleaned I can't up see you cleaning up poop. Did you wait? Exactly. I cleaned up Bonnie straw all the way home from the party that night. Did oh, she puke? Really? All oh. the way fucking home. Wait, she puked I, in the car? In the car. Oh, out and in it the killed car. her. I fucking pulled her. She drank like, too much at the surprise yes. party. Yes. And she fucking puked all the how way does home. That, how does that work? Because you don't drink and yeah. your wife does. Is that ever an issue? No, because she doesn't drink getting, that I'm much. I'm getting serious for a second. She doesn't drink that much. But does that make you want to have a drink or any of that no, shit? No, fuck no. No. Wait, Not where was she first puked? I have to know that. You drive it. Where was I? I was behind the wheel. No, no. Oh, I'm obviously behind it. <laughs> oh, I thought you were fucking roof surfing. <laughs> of course you were driving. <laughs> roof surfing. What the fuck is that? But where <laughs> were you that you couldn't pull over? <laughs> we were going through the, into the tunnel, and she goes, oh, I don't feel good. I go, don't fucking puke in my car. So then we pulled out, and then I get... I can't pull over, so I go to the Turnpike Rest Area, the first one. You know it and well. She still hasn't, and, <laughs> and she still hasn't puked. No, now she, we're in the impressive. rest area. She opens the car door right. and goes and starts puking all over. Uh, not the car, shit. but outside. Outside. Okay. Okay, so I go, let me go get you some fucking pretzels. You know, as she's puking, I go, try not to get killed. And I went in to get her some, you know, snacks to soak up the fucking it, alcohol. Yes. And and I was hungry. And <laughs> this is why I can't picture him loving anything. You understand that? He does. I, he says the main thing: love and affection. Where exactly. who did it for you? He's always a he's a, I, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a stare, he's Jew Radley. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I don't get that one. <laughs> I know. Listen, I, my kid got... So, my, okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, I wasn't finishing her puke. Yeah, right. no, please, she I'm starts, sorry. She's puking I, not in the car, but outside. Yeah, yeah. Outside. And then I'm driving down a turnpike. Did you bring her a big bag, by the way, from inside? I got her. I got a plastic bag. Beagles. Why would I get her a plastic bag? I don't know. She's vomiting. Would you want to have one Did in the car? You got I, her beagles. I had. I bugles. had. Uh, you I said had beagles, bugles. but they're bugles. You said oh, beagles. Okay. I said bugles. Okay, rewind it. I wasn't sure you have it at home. You have to say I thought you said bugles. I was very confused. I did say bugles. All right. All right. Okay. All right, guys. okay. So you so took care of yourself home. and happened to get her a pretzel. Yeah, I didn't really take care of myself. I was looking out for her. You got her bugles. Yeah. And because I felt that would soak up the alcohol. What did you get for yourself? Yeah. Oh, I got bugles just for yeah. both of us. Nobody <laughs> even knows what fucking bugles are made out Not of. Not at all. So huh? you go in and you... I'd rather <laughs> listen to one than you. <laughs> <laughs> bugle, the worst snack in the world to get somebody who's sick, a fucking bugle. bugle. What, yeah. what the fuck is a bugle? Huh? What's so it made out of? It, I don't fucking... What am I... I, I don't read ingredients. Idiot. It's like... A, it's like it's a, it's a, it's what's it made out of? <laughs> 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 It's the worst snack. It's the worst. Bugles fucking stink. Bugles there are were, terrible. There were no other choices. Uh, I'd rather eat my own puke off the ground. <laughs> fucking bugle. bugles look like just fucking uh. the tips of uncircumcised babies. What do they the taste like again? I, I forget. I uh, whatever. Those they years. were just quick. I had to They're get pretzels. Terrible. Are better. What are they? Like, made I wanted to get her pretzels, but I wasn't in the mood for them. <laughs> so so you get a bugles, suck. and what happens? She didn't eat. We kept driving. Pull over. I, I had to pull over like four times. Did you have any of the bugles? I have to back and <laughs> fucking hungry. Yeah, you you actually remind you should be a bugle fan. You look like a guy who'd walk out of a gas station with a bag of bugles. I'm gonna stop and get some bugles. Oh, keep going. And a diet coke. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> and a coffee. Whoa. <laughs> Maybe a slip. You're killing. I hope this is the stuff you did in your house. I used to get I used to get cigarettes <laughs> and fly rods. But I get bugle. Fuck oh, yeah. <laughs> Chip like Go on, man. Bugle. Put the ball so, on the thumb. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. So you pulled over four times. Four times she's puking. Yeah. Then the next day she gets home. She, I, I get, so wait, she puked, puked outside the car? Well, at that time I thought it was outside the car. Oh, great. And then fucking all the way home. And then when she gets home, she walks upstairs. I give her a garbage can to li next to the bed. You know, she's puking oh, in that. The, the whole next day puking. Like, wow. And then I go down to my car to let my daughter, my older daughter gets in the front seat. Uh, and there's puke all in the car along the, the, the baseboard, baseboard or whatever. Baseboard uh, and the side uh, of the seat. Did it, it smell? It's, huh? Did it smell? It, I, I just, I, I don't know. I had my kid clean it. And uh, <laughs> I gave her five bucks. Can we call and, Bonnie, by the way? No. Huh? We got to call Bonnie. Yeah, call her. That's, I that don't makes have her me, number. That's the worst oh, wait, part of drinking is that. I got it. It's 917. Oh. Wait no, a minute, you can give it out on the radio. <laughs> Shut up, Chip. Here, write it down. We got to put her on the, the hotline. Wow. Because I bet sucks. you she has something to add to the story. That's the oh. worst. Yeah, puking like that is terrible. Mm. Yeah. Just see for me, because not only are you puking, you actually, you're spinning. The room's spinning. <laughs> so you, I got a kid that pukes every time we're in the car. Why? I don't know. It's car sick. It's car sick. You, should, you know what you do? The first one, Honestly, God, put the a first blindfold. one didn't as much. Put a blindfold on him. That's, that, that cures it. Where'd you, what? Where'd you read that? Really? I just made it up. Oh. Because <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm willing said, to really, try that. It wouldn't work, because that would actually make you worse. You should put a blindfold on your kid when you're showering. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, why? That was really hurtful, Rich. Exactly. So what? He's a little overweight. No, I, I didn't mean that. Um, See how he just leaves the radio show? He, and he's, but he's just talking into a bag. Right. I wish he was trying to breathe into one of the plastic ones. <laughs> All right, we're, we're calling Bonnie. So then uh, the puke in the car. Go ahead, Rich. That's great. Yeah, well, he, I mean, what, am I going to move for one of your little cum farts on me? <laughs> <laughs> no. I love that. Yeah. He's just Good chewing one. on the air. <laughs> oh, hold on a second. The improv master. No. Yeah. <laughs> great. C, choose both options. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Shut up. <laughs> you remember the rules of improv halfway through? No. I'll yeah. never deny. Yes. Always say yes. <laughs> what are you, what's up? What are you eating? Will you tell the rest of the ready. story? It's done. So that was it? It just smelled like puke, and then your daughter cleaned it and up for you? she was sick for like two days. And, pro and, and How much you know did she funny? drink you of this, this thing? You hear this... I'll never drink again. How yeah. many times have, you know... Every time I drink, like yeah. it was terrible. It's like, I'll never drink. I can't tell you how many times I go, oh, I'll never smoke crack. I'll never do, you know, and then fucking three but days But for later. a non... She's, she's a normal person, though. Like, she's right. not like an alcoholic, so if she gets loaded one time, she probably won't drink for six months. She's not normal. Well, I mean, she has bad taste, but she's... You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know she's not a... She's not an alcoholic. No. Honey's not an alcoholic. Not at all. No, she can have some drinks, and she, once in a while, she... How many did she have? 
Like, I think four. Oh. Were they like drink drinks or beer? How to be whiskey, like, like whiskey, like whiskey, whatever. Oh, Jesus, martinis, type of things. I don't or? know. She planned whiskey. this party. She was so fucking smart. It was great. She got sponsors. That fucking cake cost a thousand dollars. Jesus. That fucking big cake. Well, what, what was the cake? What it was it? a big cake with a golf course on it. it had a car like crashed into a sand trap. It was very well done. I actually took yeah. the business card of the cake people. Uh huh. So I'm like, that's a cool fucking. And the, and the jeweler made me this fucking necklace that says Voss, like a. And Let I, me the see party this. point. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, just a little necklace. It's not a necklace. It's actually a pendant. It's not a necklace. <laughs> it's not a pendant. It's a dog tag. Yeah. It's a why, dog are, tag. why are we so bothered by that? I don't know. Because it has his last name good. on it. Like, what kind of an asshole wears his own last name yeah, on like his neck? It's like those fucking the identity bracelets. Room. Remember those in the 80s? Yeah. yeah the looks like, around the room, yeah. though. And what, <laughs> what? Bonnie's not answering. She's probably sleeping. I hope, yeah, she's, I hope she's packing bags. Yeah, I hope she's on the phone with a fucking... Well, you mean you have the same wish. <laughs> <laughs> How many days before she drank again? She hasn't drunk. She hasn't drank. Still. She hasn't we drank went on it. vacation uh, last week to she's North Carolina. She's not feeling it. My friend Roy uh, paid for our trip to North Carolina and Why? in this golf tournament. He's a big fan of the show. Oh, okay. Roy from uh, from North Carolina. I don't play golf, but and, I'll still go down there for free. And not only that, he's he's a big developer in North Carolina, and he named the street after me in his new development. There's a retard road <laughs> in North Carolina? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Roy is the best, man. He's my favorite. I don't want to say his last name. But <laughs> Why don't you want to say his last name? Because I don't know if you're supposed to. I'm just saying, Roy, he's a great guy. We, we went to this beautiful resort in, in Charlotte. <laughs> Retard <know>. Road. <laughs> that's, uh, that was funny. Yeah. Fuck it off. was very good. Just don't try to deny <laughs> my fucking laugh. That was a damn good one. It was, it it was a bad. great one. That was terrific. It was. What All are you right. doing? Oh, you dumb gum. His uh, nicotine gum Do you have any still. nicotine gum fly fishing rods? <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't bad. I'm more laughing than you said nicotine. I, I just got nervous halfway through. I thought I had a good one, and I wasn't sure. So why don't you think I can raise kids? I no, 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 no. That's not what I said, Voss. Yeah. And I and I know your daughters. You your said, old, I know your, your your kid is awesome. I love Raina, and I know your older kids too are cool as, as as hell. But I just when I'm doing this stuff, like I wake up and take. I'll take care of the baby in the morning. Like I'll go get them, sure. feed them, change them, play with them. And I'm sitting there. I can't imagine. I've never gotten a hug from you. I've never gotten like because my arms can't reach around you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like I can't picture him being. I can't picture you doing the, the I, poop thing. I can't picture you doing certain no. things. Like I like my kid, my kid like. Paul Max grabbed we had this stupid mirror in the room and he grabbed it mm -hmm. yesterday and like it fell and I was like oh shit it was a fucking terrible thing I shouldn't have had the mirror in the we were supposed to hang it we didn't it was just, of course that's what he grabs you know and he and I'm like he's crying and I'm I'm like hey you know I'm like it's all right buddy and I'm doing all this you know I, you know you're going to be okay and I'm like trying to love him and you know so he's not scared and I just can't I just picture you going you're fine you're fine you know it's okay did you like, I can't picture you being, like, uh, a person. I can't picture yeah. a, a mirror in your house without the kid not thinking it's a fun house when you walk by it. You know. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? You know, dude, first, first of all, <laughs> that was the wordiest was fat joke <laughs> ever. So <laughs> fuck you. It wasn't a fat joke. It was really, a fat was it? Joke. Yeah, it was. Of course it was. How, How can anyone destroy? be this big normally, you're saying? <laughs> I'm saying that was a joke. Fucking eat your blueberries, you fucking. I'm saying that was a joke. Sucker. I didn't agree with it. <laughs> He's just explaining. But it. what I don't understand is when you're playing with your baby, yeah. which is great. Yeah. yeah. Why are you thinking about me, you creeps? No, no. I because I understand dude, I, his point. You all look at man. When you have a kid, I never thought I'd have a kid. And I used to see guys with kids and be like, oh my god, what a fucking taxing situation that is. And now I have a kid, and I, um, you, you kind of understand. Like all of a sudden, you just do. Okay, you don't fuck can think about it you just what? do shit you never thought you could do and you never have the energy of doing but you just do it you have no choice what? and i and i try to think of you know other friends of mine like who have kids and i'm like i i can't see him doing this no here's here's the, the, the real deal like i see you like with do, with, like, with Raina, yeah. bonnie was is okay. 99 yeah. 95 percent more hands-on than right. i was that's what i'm th saying with Raina, right with my older daughters it, it's different. My older daughters, I was nonstop hands-on. Okay. Because I had them in the day. My ex-wife had them at night. So I was nonstop. 
with right. my own. Now, with Raina, I'm older and, and I have way more responsibilities. You know, I got to go on the road. Bonnie doesn't go on the road. She writes at home. Believe you me, her her fucking workload is insane. She's writing books and for TV shows, and and watching Raina. Yeah. So it is very stressful. But I wasn't as hands on with Raina as I was with, okay. with my older daughters. Right. I did change diapers. I did do that kind of stuff. Right. Feed her in the middle of the night. Burper. You right. know. But like I, I wasn't as Bonnie. Without Bonnie, forget it. All right, we get it. All right. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm covering my ass. One way to go, I, Bobby. Where you at with the shit? What is the, is the shit starting to smell differently yet? Yeah, no, he's shitting. He's shitting. You know, shit, shitting now. He's eating regular food. And, he's uh, he's and taking and dumps. It gets, and it gets way worse, right? Yeah, it's it's bad, but it's not. I, I like, think I laughed the first six or eight months. It was easy, but as soon as you start introducing the real food, uh oh, fire alarm. Uh, the shit smell drastically changes. It's yeah. brutal. It's it's bad, but I think I, I thought the formula shit was terrible. Really? Yeah, I didn't like that. I didn't like the visual aspect of formula shit. You know, like regular poop, it's like a little nugget, and it's, you know... Are, are you amazed what could come out of a, a, a baby, though? Yeah, last week he had a fucking... You're pretty amazed by that, right? It's pretty wild. Yeah. <laughs> like, how the fuck but, is that possible? But, yeah, but here's the thing, is that baby shit... Uh, it's not that as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought the cleanup was going to be a fucking nightmare, but it's not. They just poop. It's a little pellet, almost like clay, mushy, and you throw it out. Don't, don't, don't have you a throw girl. It out? Why? You got to get in there. Oh yeah, that would have been. You got to kind of. Yeah. You got to go back. You kind of. You got to kind of open up a little. Front bit. to oh, back. In there. You got to go front to back. Why don't you Louis, just go Louis back to a, front and believe it inside? It, it's Louis' bit, Louis which I didn't understand at the time. But to clean out the vagina. Yeah, you you actually have to clean out vaginas. Yeah. I never thought I would be cleaning out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's strange. Is it yeah. Been open. What happened? It's, it's fine. Uh, He'll use it. That's no, fine. no. I don't want. That's okay. Thank. What? Is it open? Why? Why won't you use our stuff, our condiments? Because he's a fucking psychopath. Why does it have to be uh, not open? In a package. Why, Rich? That's just how I am. I, you know, I'm. I'm not going to change. No, we got Bonnie, food in front of us. Females so we... always want you to fucking make you All right. change. All right, I gonna... hate these tiny blueberries. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. eat. What do you put them in Voss's hand? They look regular. <laughs> 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 they look like pumpkins. <laughs> The Opium Sam Roberts show will be right back on Sirius XM. Oh, God. Rich Voss, Robert Kelly, and Richard Gervais on his way up. Hey, this Saturday I'm in the Poconos. Uh, go to my website, richfoss.com, to find out where it is. All right. The center. That sounds great. We got Bonnie on the line. Do I have my mic? Oh, sorry. I want my mic. I, I didn't I know you moved. Ones. I didn't. Why don't you poke him in the ribs instead of the nose? <laughs> Bonnie. Yeah. Rich is telling everyone that you puked on the way home from the uh, the surprise party. Okay, first of all, like... I did this amazing thing for him. I made a... No one's ever done that for Rich Boss. I made him this amazing surprise party, and, and then all he does is tell people I puked on the way home. No, I said what a great job you did with the party, how how you got, you Sponsors, know... Sponsors, and, and, and the I, cake would have cost, like, a, over $1,000. I said what a great... What a fabulous Wait, job. First of all, like don't say no one... I, no one would have married you. I married you, okay? So you gave me a party, I married you. We're even. Uh... I said nice things about you. I'm just saying you puked all the way home. What's wrong with the cake? Yeah, well, let me just say this. You, 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 in a marriage with you, you're lucky. It, it's a constant effort to not puke all the way home. <laughs> <laughs> That's my natural state. I let myself <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and he, he said he went in to get you some food to, you know, soak up some of the alcohol at the rest area. He did not. He went in to go get himself a coffee or go to the bathroom, and I'm puking. And pe he, he had to park as close to the place as he could because that's Rich Boss. doesn't want to walk an extra two feet. 
So there's like all these people walking around. While Wait, I'm, you didn't I'm even park car. like in the back or in an area where she could be by herself puking? No, just right in the, front. No, on the side. Right in front, though, right? You pulled right up. No, on the side, not in there front. There's a of, lot of foot traffic. A lot, lot of foot people. traffic watching your wife puke. <laughs> you lazy bum. <laughs> no, I just wanted to get Poor to the girl. closest spot so she could throw up. Fucking those awful yeah, gas station yeah. fluorescent lights <laughs> right, just, beaming down on her headache. <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> See, you try to smell gasoline. Right. I thought you're in there getting bugles and a coffee. <laughs> Fucking shit, husband. And then he goes, well, that's all I remember when he was leaving. He goes, don't get killed. <laughs> that's great, Rich. Because it was late. What time? It was after midnight, right? One like in the one, morning, one, maybe? Yeah. One, 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 oh, one that's 30. wonderful. You know, and then he went in, because we thought he went in for himself. He was trying to say, no, I was taking care of No, Bonnie. I really wanted to get something to soak up the, you know. Her stuff. And then he comes out with those bugles. Yeah, bugles? Yeah, whatever. Oh, you didn't eat. the greasiest, the most horrifying thing. It's probably the worst thing to eat if you're puking. Yeah. Really? If you're not, if so. you feel Yeah, why don't you just go in and get her pulled meat? pork sandwich? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's good the next day when you got the hangover, then you go with the grease. I, I don't think you go with the grease when you're puking. <laughs> but, but Bonnie was sick for like a day after, and I took care of her. The next day, you know, to some did extent. You? I, I don't know. Didn't what, I? What, <laughs> what did he do for you? As he uh, he said, he took care. I of made you. her toast. He made me toast. Yeah. And he brought it up. I'm in bed. Okay. This is so. This is like, you know, seven o'clock the next night. I can finally, you know, I'm going to try to eat something. Yeah. And he, I go, can you just bring me some toast, some plain toast, no butter or anything. <laughs> He brought it up without a napkin or a plate, just a piece of fucking dough. <laughs> just handed it to you in bed? A piece of what? In bed. Just a piece of dry toast he hands to her. No presentation. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I mean, eating toast in bed is dangerous anyway because of the crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Why get a plate dirty? Mm. You know what I mean? But, you know, hey, look, Bonnie was great. The party was great. She threw a great party. Yeah. And, you know, we just spent vacation together. We didn't fight once on vacation. It was great. That's nice. Well, I think they're going to have to get rid of you. Ricky Gervais is coming Yeah, in. we got Ricky Gervais walking down the hall now. Look at that. Look at they all walking around at me. Nice. All like fucking... He's laughing already. <laughs> <laughs> Probably loves that we're in a horrible position. <laughs> All right, Bonnie, we'll call you back in a little bit. Maybe. No, we've got to continue uh, this I got Anthony on the other line, guys. I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Gervais. Hi, Hi, How you doing? Hello. Hello. What's up, Ricky? Hi. What's up? Well, things have changed a little yeah, bit since the last time times. you were here. What's going on? What have I missed? Oh, God. Do you know everyone in the room? Uh, no. You know Bobby Kelly? Yeah, well, hi. Hey, How's it going, man? Nice wait, wait you, do you know Bobby? Uh, I don't, not, not personally. We, we, we did a once. movie together, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Ghost Town. I was played one of your ghosts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was a construction worker. You were? Yeah. I know, yeah. 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 Do you really you remember? Huh? You had a hard hat on. I, oh, it yeah, does remember. Movie, I don't. I don't wear it anymore. No, I know. That's <laughs> no, why I didn't recognize yeah. you. If you'd, have, if you'd have been sitting there with a hard hat, I would have so, said, "Hey, how uh, you doing, man?" I thought. I thought honestly, oh, this out what a fucking sicko I am, because I'm a comic. You're a comic. I. I remember. Uh, I thought we were gonna like. I was gonna one day just go. Hey, I'm a comedian. You, me, and you were gonna become friends on set. <laughs> And bond a little bit. Little bonding. It's going to be a story about. I said I never want to see that guy again. <laughs> Get away from me. No, it's not. No, I'm not no, like no, that. No, no, no you know. Right. You, but you were. I was. I, I kind of got jealous and mad because we were doing the scene where the first scene together where I'd have that opportunity to, to talk to you in between takes. It was a scene where you were in bed with the naked guy. Remember right. That? And he was just completely naked. This this guy was naked. And uh, that wasn't the scene. That was my lunch hour. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's where I fucked up. <laughs> but you and him were bonding. You were just yapping and and Again? he kept talking and you you were giggling. I'm like I'm like shut up, you. This is my opportunity <laughs> to become friends with Ricky. You fucking naked, uncomfortable looking dude. And you were just chatting it up. You guys were giggling and I was. And you were jealous. You were a little I jealous. Was so uh, fucking jealous, jealous of this guy because uh, it was your only opportunity. And then uh, yeah. I got yelled at by the director oh no yeah, oh, this he, is this is a tragedy right when, okay. when we had to run in central park we had to chase you yeah and we had to run down this hill but i was very i was you know I'm, I'm a big guy i think i was a little bigger in that movie or whatever but i when we were coming down the hill i i, I the momentum i couldn't stop so my arms <laughs> 
stop. My arms like a wrecking ball. <laughs> yeah, my, you couldn't stop. My arms just like started so swinging like propellers. <laughs> so like riders. Yes. I was gonna get crushed. So when I ran by camera, oh. I just heard the whole crew. Everybody started laughing. Oh, no. This is terrible, man. So, so then, when I, when I, and then you hear the director going, why the fuck did he do that? Why did he do that with his arms? And he goes, get him over here. And he goes, why did you do that? And I go, because I'm fat. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. God. And that's okay. the scene you, that's the actual scene you kept in the movie. He kept, whatever, whoever edited took, had the scene, and the ONA fans sent me the clip. Yeah. They watch it over and over, and they go, here he is, here he comes. And then I come around. Around the corner, Bobby! <laughs> it's me swinging my arms. <laughs> a fat guy running oh. down a hill. That's oh my hilarious. god. And in the tragedy, you oh. never got to become friends with Ricky Gervais. Never. He actually, yeah. one time, no, you were with Louie, and uh, you came in and saw me at the cellar. You sat down. And then I went up after Louie, and I bombed so, oh, so okay. fucking bad. <laughs> but you know Ricky's laugh, right? You yeah. know his laugh. Yeah, exactly. It's fucking piercing. You know that's fucking Ricky Gervais. So as I'm bombing, him and Louie are in the room. I hear his laugh every time I take a hot one. I hear, <laughs> I hear his laugh. Louis, was Louie yeah, Louis was in, Yeah, Louie was in your ear. Yeah. Oh. So, so <laughs> I got two of the funniest motherfuckers walking, just fucking trashing me to each other. But the but the naked guy was with us as well, and he was he's no a funny. Way. He was sang, coming out some really That's great one liners. Bitch. Stole my fucking. I thought you were gonna upgrade yeah, me as a ghost. Who's sitting, <laughs> like who's who's sitting next to me now with their clothes That's on? That's right. You. Where's that son of a bitch? Yes. Naked somewhere in a Law and Order. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> Isn't that, that great? Like, I know it was like some school days confessions, and then the teacher got me out of class and my right. trousers fell down. <laughs> it, was, it was tragic. <laughs> I see, uh, uh, and who's this, this guy? This is Rich That's Voss. Voss. This is Rich Voss. Voss. You've hey, never seen him in anything. Who, I've who, never done anything, but I've watched everything you've ever oh, done. Oh, thank you. Everything. Thank we, you very much. You, you guys this have is. never worked together, is what you're saying. We've you've done a lot together. yourself there, But Rich. if I were to run down hill, I would not go like that. I'm in shape because I care about myself, and I don't fill the empty voids with food so I can run down the hill. And he brought gifts in today. You didn't bring a gift for Ricky Gervais, Rich. Worst, he has the worst gifts ever. I'll tell you, can I just, this is the gift. Do you want to smell the gift I, he brought me? He really brought Bobby a gift because he no. hasn't seen him in a little bit. No, Bobby, help me out. So, yeah, don't give, even look at it. Just smell it. And tell, tell me how new that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's covered mold, isn't it? It's, mold. it's oh, it's 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 your your granddad's books. <laughs> you get three guesses. You I get two more. Um, it's it's it says it's a Marlboro. thousand cigarettes. No. Yes. yes. What is it? It's a it's a it's a fishing roll. It's a fishing pole. It's a oh, combo right. fly fishing uh, spinner what reel. Is that? I that love he, I love the fact that you give someone what is essentially a brand new gift. I have old. It's a brand used, new gift. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. And he they smell it and say this is old. Well, here's the problem. There's, he there's many problems with the gift with, though. He bought it with cigarette miles. That's like, the Marlboro Miles thing. The that's Marlboro the Miles. It, yes. But it, I quit smoking. What I'm but saying. But he bought is, it into. Hold on. It has to be said. It was bought in 2002. Yeah. He's oh, been yeah. saving that in his basement for 12 years, yeah, and he you gave it to Bobby today. Go fishing. Yeah, exactly. And in, exactly. in 88 years, it's going to be an antique. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the antiques of the future. We, we looked it up oh, online. Yeah, yeah. I need to wash yeah. my hands. Yeah, yeah. It's very old. No. It's we, very old. We looked it up it's online. Just, it's just a stick with a hook on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 this is the one that Huckleberry Finn <laughs> used. Oh, it's, yeah, it came with a bandana. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we learned today, though, brand new, that's 30 bucks. No. Really? And no, that one's 12 years old. Back in the day, it was probably 200. It was yeah. 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 300. Yeah. Uh, one second. Uh, Things don't get more expensive as you go back. It was cheaper then. No, you fucking idiot. When you bought a car back then, it was like fucking 600 bucks. Now it's fucking $20,000 no, to get a car. because it's, it's better now, but back in the yeah, day. it's all relative, isn't it? Here's you it's, all, it's all relative to what? the age, isn't it? Relative, when, yes. When you, when you, when you, when you, <laughs> when you, when you buy, a, buy a house now, you're not thinking, this is so cheap. This is really cheap now because right, it's right, the present. Right, right. I can't wait to the future. <laughs> right. Because right. okay. okay. you make less money than you're going to make in the future. Exactly, so yeah. it is. Yeah. I've yeah. never understood that inflation. Let's keep everything the same. Yeah. Yeah. Final All one. the money the same. Houses the same price. Bread the same. One unit. House million units. Right. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I don't know. Yeah. I don't understand two, how. Two. I don't know why we have units, to... and you get paid. 
A yeah. hundred units. I remember, I remember when a prostitute was twenty units. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Twenty units. Twenty, 20, 20 units. Why, why I, is it? Worth... I think. I think the moral of this story is never give a gift. No, no. I think that's the moral. Never, listen, never give anyone anything. You know, because they don't appreciate shit. Here's the thing. Wait a minute. It's it's used as well. It's, it's a used. Told, used no, we didn't tell Ricky that. Ricky that. Shit no, gift. No, wait, hold on. He fuck used it. Did listen really? to me. Yes, he did. Smell the 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 the, the, the fishing. Uh, what did he use it for? First? Fishing. Yeah. He fished. Oh, it was an attempted suicide. <laughs> First of all, you fucking humps. The thing is, Why there's two humps? poles. Yeah. Because yeah. Fuck. He, he oh. fly fishes. I don't do that stupid shit. And what the, the fuck? Thing, your gift stinks. Why is it it's a bad gift? <laughs> You're Why gonna, are you getting me fly? Are we, are we in a Scorsese movie? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely no, no. And then he shot him in the face because he bought him a gift that smelled. I know. He's seen anything like, like it. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it turned you know me on. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> anyway, lovely to be here. Ah, so you probably crazy talked times. about it to death. You could, a, you could I don't, air whatever. No, I, I don't know the ins and outs, but... You could it? air whatever. We're in a really weird, shitty position. You know. Yeah. I've been doing radio with Ant for 20 years. Jimmy, at least 14, something like yeah. that. And I'm touching my coffee. He, he's gone, and we're still here. we got a contract, and we're just trying to figure it out. Of course. No, no, of course. So. I mean, uh, yeah. But thanks for the laughs. Yesterday we were fucking. Ugh, you you wouldn't want to have been here yesterday. Downright and, depressing. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bad. And, and how, how, how is your position with Sirius? Because Sirius um, don't want you. There's you no know, no secret it. there. We we've had major problems with the company. So right. But I don't know. I don't and know. what was their thing? Like, because like, it, it, it was his. He, he they. It, it was his stuff on Twitter, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. nothing to do with the show, which is right, crazy. Right. But I don't think anyone should be fired for stuff they're doing in their private lives. That's for sure. And what was their reason that they can't? They said the tweets. Um, there were a few in there that had violence kind of connected to them, and they were very bothered by that. That's what they said. So don't don't fucking kill me for being the messenger. So yeah, that was the I, I don't agree with that. You know, and we we said if we if we could have just got back on the radio, the jokes would have been there, and we would have. I think we would have been all right. We would have got through it, but we uh, had a nice long holiday weekend, so we never got that chance. Right. So, yeah, Twitter. It's 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 because in the room when you know everything's up for discussion and we're all adults and everyone's got a say and everyone's got a side. You don't get that on Twitter with Twitter. It, it's it's out there, and then it's just all the comeback. And once you start arguing, you're you're in real trouble because you can't argue you can't argue rationally on Twitter. It's it's impossible. Right. 140 characters with it's, a bunch of people, and you don't know the emotion behind it. Well, in Ant's case, we I think we do know a bit of the emotion behind it, but in general, you don't you don't know the emotion of of some of these tweets. Yeah, so. and you know I don't I don't know what he said, but it's clearly clearly upset. I saw one tweet he did where um. They said uh, the the uh, altercation or the incident, and and he tweeted, "I w why does everyone leave out the fact I was attacked?" Right, because I think everyone's being careful, and it's clear his his thing is cut and dried. He said some bad things on Twitter. It's there. It's for everyone. Right. but everything else is 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 I'm, ambiguous or hearsay or. You well, know. we all got to make believe, not not us in the room, that you know. You don't say horrible things when you're pissed off. We all do. Yeah. If someone pisses you off, you're going to say horrible things. Yeah, exactly. I, I think I think the, uh, the 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 thing when you when you step over to uh, an ism is that it's not just the person you're going for that's right. affected. It's it's everyone in that demographic right. that feels well, why are they having a gun at me? Why are they using a terrible derogatory word about right. you know? You know, someone's sex or race, where right. whereas really he 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 wanted to express his feelings about that person who attacked him, right? And then uh, I think uh, you know that, that that's the problem. But it just gets it. muddied when you're very angry, yeah, and, you, and you're not, yeah. and, and and it's in written form. Sometimes the, what you're trying to say gets a little bit muddied because it's just like when you're talking verbally and you're pissed off, you, you say things that you can just correct yourself on, but once you tweet them, you can't correct them and go, look, I wasn't going after everybody. Well, exactly. But you you, you know, each uh, any tweet you do that's of, that's of any worth or says anything that's 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 slightly challenging, you need five more to explain it sure. for idiots. And sometimes you want to go, you okay, you can't legislate against stupidity, so I'm going to leave it. But it's infuriating because you want to get your point across too. Right. And, uh, um, like for example, I remember there was a there was a thing right. I I I I, I tried to do this thing to stop these pe people in China 
skinning dogs alive. Jesus. For boots, right? So they're skinning dogs alive. There's, it's fucking heartbreaking. Right. Okay. Why are they doing it alive, first of all? Because it comes off easier. And I said, we've it, got Is that to the real reason? No. Yes. Yes, it comes off easier. It comes off easier. Right? And I say, we've got, I said, how do we stop these fucking vile cunts doing this? Right. I got a tweet saying, why are you using sexist language? Ugh, oh, Jesus. Oh. Okay, okay, let's, okay, right. One, First of all, that word th has there's many no misogyny meetings. in that word in England, anyway. Of course, it, that's it, what it doesn't come, even the, the derivation is irrelevant. At, at no point am I thinking of female genitalia when I'm talking to a guy who's skinning a fucking dog alive. Right. And it's people get in the way. Everyone's got a thing. Everyone's got their thing. And it gets in the way of the real issue. So, and that's what happens, I think. So what do you call a woman when she acts up from... <laughs> yeah, it's such a, it's a different thing in England. That's our. Uh, well, that, uh, that's see, the uh, atom bomb in I America. I, I, I don't think it's even who you call it. It's the fact that you're using uh, a derogatory word to upset someone who's awful sure. by using a female genitalia. So right. you know. What's, uh, uh, but what's the worst thing you could call a well, woman I, I in England? Well, I think cunt with a K. <laughs> really? So you say you absolute cunt, sexist. No, it's with a K. <laughs> this okay, word is yeah. with a K. Gotcha. I like the sound of the word. <laughs> right. I, I like the meaning in this context. It has nothing to do with genitalia. Yeah. You are just a cunt with a K. Okay. But what, How's for, that? For her to say that, though, it's like how, or him to say that, how irritating is that? Like, yeah. that's what you got out of that tweet? Yeah, I want to yeah. say, yeah, read it again. Yeah. Look, at the, look at the dog being skinned alive. Yeah, you See, oh, that's the point of the tweet, isn't it? There we go. You probably should have linked to a video of how horrendous that is. I know. It's, it, it, because people... And what are they doing after they skin them alive? They just let them die. What, what do they use the skin why? for? Yeah. Uh, like, fake sort of um, designer boots and uh, that sort of so it's Yeah, yeah. I've seen I mean, footage of stuff I mean, the like real that. boots that use real mm. fur is no better because most of the animals are, uh, you know, they're, they're kept... Uh, they use fucking electrodes to... Uh, anal electrodes to kill them in fucking agony because it's quicker. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's... it's uh, there's a world. There's a there's the world of the most evil th things on planet Earth you can ever imagine in, in, in fur and things like that. But someone <laughs> <laughs> doesn't like it when you get annoyed right. or use colourful language. The wrong word. Yeah. Uh, I know. Uh, uh, one person said, I would have retreated that if it wasn't for the language. And I said, so you're more offended by a word mm -hmm. than someone skinning an animal alive. I Essentially, wouldn't. that was their that was their decision. This is more offense. This word is more offensive than them skinning an animal. Otherwise, I'd retweet it. So, it, it, Twitter's crazy because you give everyone equal rights on Twitter, yeah. but some people are fucking idiots. Well, right. it's like the internet. Some people, people shouldn't have a voice. The people well, should not have a platform. Some, right. people, honestly, some yeah. people shouldn't f we yeah. shouldn't fucking hear from them. You're right. Some people are out of their fucking minds. Mm. And the th that mention, that fucking mention thing, it's like you want to read it because there's some good in there. There's people that maybe help you or have good uh, advice or can do something or have share the same opinion. But there's also the shit. And it's like, how do you get around? Not, I don't look at my mentions. You just tweet shit out. Yeah. I don't, I, what the fuck did we do before Twitter? How did you uh, well, help the dogs? How did well, you stop this? Uh, you put your name to things and it goes out in a newspaper. But before people having a voice was they had to sit down, they had to write a letter right. to the Times, they had to wait for it to be published, and they had to... They had to do something. Yeah. Now it's fuck you. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's, fuck you. It might as well be in their head. Yeah. You know, it's, and it, it's it, not it, most them. of them. Yeah, yeah, it's, most, just a, it's, a, it's a little dot. It's not even their photo. You yeah. don't know where they're from. Oh, they're you don't not, know oh, you ignore. You ignore the, the thing that uh, an egg telling oh, I, I you something I don't, I don't is to be eggs. ignored immediately. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't even put yeah, up a fucking true. fake photo yeah. of yourself, <laughs> you know that they're to be ignored. Well, and you look at the ones that are trolls. Well, Bobby's picture looks like an egg. That's what he. That's what he does. It's his thing. That's his thing. I'm just saying his head now. I is didn't because, say. Is it because you didn't appreciate his smelly gift? Yeah. <laughs> I think he's mad that I didn't appreciate his fucking 20 year old gift. That's, that's like a prison euphemism. <laughs> Do you want my smelly gift? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be giving you a smelly gift tonight. That's what my wife calls it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I don't know the ins and outs. We don't know. No, no one knows what happened that night, but from, from what I can work out, mm. he, he got. He got really, really angry that he was, he was upset, and yeah. he went, you know, crazy and said some things he would never have said if he hadn't been. Well, he would said this is the point. You know, that's the point. He would, and he would have said all those things on our show, and I, uh, we would have, we would have got through it. We, yeah, we would have definitely. Well, got you'd have laughed and you'd have teased him, and you'd have seen. Oh, yeah. God, God, the socialist teasing yeah. he would have Do you gotten. Oh. He, yeah, he, of he course, got yeah. beat up by a, a, a woman. Oh yeah, and he had a gun on him. <laughs> I mean, the white guy. Well, that's a bit weird. I thought you weren't allowed to carry guns in New York. He has a permit to carry, but. 
show, he's yeah. responsible. He didn't pull this his gun his... out. He didn't brandish it. He didn't even mention it. He, he, he knew his life wasn't threatened, so he handled it properly. This right, is his though. dream he, scenario. Yeah. He gets attacked by a black woman in a black woman in Times Square late at night. He has a gun, and then three other black guys come in on it. This is his dream fucking scenario. white dude, Long Island gun owner scenario, could I, and he could just I, took a could beating. Could I suggest him, when, if he did get to tribunal, that you're not his character witness? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love Anthony. But I love it. If I was him now, I'd be phoning in saying, stay off my side. <laughs> he would stay I, off my I'm, side. Can I have Ricky talk for me? Can I have Ricky? There was support <laughs> in there. It's like you there was a, a little support in there. You have a gun, and we always busted his ass about owning a gun. What, what, mm. what if if, if I get attacked, I'm gonna no, you're not. You're gonna keep it on your side and take the beating. Is what yeah. you're gonna do. But He's you know what? It's, it's, we're teasing him for doing yeah. the right thing. Yeah, you know, of that's course. the thing. Is yeah, well, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, No, he did the right thing. But what you say but, is more important and judged differently than what you do. So well, bizarre. It should be what you do. I saw that. There's a great yeah. one by um. What's that guy? Comedians uh, Quinn uh, calling Colin, Colin yeah. Quinn said it's it's, it's <laughs> great to live in the country. <laughs> what? But I didn't know his name. Yes, that makes us so happy. We know Eddie White. We know. Because I know. <laughs> I'm like the new kid that's come from a, a different town in school, but I accidentally say things that annoy teachers, and yeah. that I'm stupid but popular because I'm saying the wrong thing. Colin's home right now. Okay, why, why is why is it funny that I got name? Colin Quinn's? We know, we know him very well. The yeah, okay, so he's a, he's a good guy, isn't he? He's he's funny. He's the funniest guy in the world. We love him. Okay, good. We love him. He's great. Okay, great. No, he tweeted this thing. It's great to live in a country that con is con more concerned about um, what you say than your actions, which, right. is, which is really nice right. and smart. And, mm. But uh, it's, uh, it's very sad. So what's he doing now, though? Colin? Oh. His, he was no, doing... not Colin. <laughs> oh. Colin I, actually, I almost answered Colin what he was doing. Uh, Anthony is uh, starting up his own show. Yeah. I mean, he's got a studio built in his house for a while. Yeah. He's got Anthony's... a television studio in his basement. I mean, a, a legitimate yeah. fucking television studio he's built That's over beautiful. in his yeah. basement. He's yeah. ready. Wow. He's been ready for yeah. this for a while. Yeah. So. Yeah. Wow. He's going to do that for a little while. <laughs> this sounds like a survivalist. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what he's got his own bunker. But what, yeah. 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 It does, though. Loads of guns, loads of cameras, and loads of guns. Yeah. He's got enough alcohol, <laughs> guns, and hot chicks. I could, I could yeah. last out here for 40 years. And he yeah. was putting in a generator, too. Yeah. Wow. So, so if the lights go out for like 10 days, he's easily set. A yeah. huge tank going into his backyard. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's he, amazing. He's got drones. So, that's <laughs> yeah. what he does. He does drones. An army. He does have drones. Army. He does have an army. They're fucking quitting Sirius Satellite as we speak. <laughs> right. <laughs> we're losing all of them quickly. So basically, we're fucked, and, and you're up for Emmys. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. I, just came, I, have, I just came in to say, look. I hope you feel good about yourself. Right. I know you guys are going to lose your job, but Emmy. <laughs> Emmy. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, guys. Let's cheer you over there with that. Emmy. Another Emmy. I've already got a few. I've got seven BAFTAs. <laughs> Oh, and the royal is from the office. So, it wouldn't matter if I got fired because they could just keep me going. Yeah. So good for you. Oh, good to see you again, guys. Yeah, great. Thanks. Yes, uh, uh, yeah. you. Well, you Wonderful. know, we're cutting staff, but, uh, you know, silver lining, I got a promotion. I've seen this scenario before. <laughs> I, know. Just... I know, yeah. Oh, God, life imitating art. Uh, yeah, got uh, nominated for Emmy, but we won't win. Um, what, what did you get Why? nominated? What were the nominations for? for performance. Uh, best comedy performance for By Derek. you. Yeah. So I want that win. You up against Louis, right? Uh, Louis, um, uh, th who's that guy from um, Jim Parsons? Oh, um, right, from Modern Family. No, no from uh, Louis? from the yeah, oh, Big, Big Bang, Bang Theory. Yeah, oh, I hate Dude. that fucking show. My show's still on. I'm oh, 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 another kind of worm. It's not here. that bad. But is he a good actor? So I'm, you... gonna, so I'm gonna win then, am I? Is that is that it? It's, it's between you and Louis. Does this count? Does this count as well? Louis had a good season too. Yeah, though. Louis was good. Louis, he did. It's great. I think it's between you two. But they'll probably give it to Big Bang Theory because it's such a popular show. I don't know. Yeah, they've they've made some weird decisions. Who else are they? Who else is you three? And who else? Uh, oh shit. Oh, Don Cheadle. I haven't. I don't. I haven't House seen of that uh, Cards. Oh, right. Yeah. No, not House of Cards. Well, House, of, uh, House of Lies. House, House of Lies. Lies Showtime. Right. Right? He's a great actor, Don Cheadle. Yeah, you're he's fucked. Yeah. Gonna, yeah, you're in trouble. You're in yeah. trouble. Don yeah. Cheadle's got Don yeah. Cheadle's not. He's okay. The best. You'll be oh, sad like us uh, no, in another it, week or two. <laughs> I don't. I, yeah, it was. I was. It was shocked to be nominated. It's such a little cult show. I think you're gonna win. 
<laughs> yeah, I predicted. Yeah, yeah. I, predicted. I, I do that. To Yours people. is the biggest departure. I swear to God. Just so when they don't win, it's even worse. I've actually, for the last five years in a row, I've picked that category yeah. right on the money. I'm not even joking around. Yeah. So, yeah. Hey, you've got if you win, you have to thank Bob. <laughs> Just go, I want to thank Bob. Yeah, okay. that's it. That'll I make will. everything good for I the movie. Will. I'll ghost uh, number four. Okay. <laughs> Who's Bob? <laughs> One laugh. Oh, that, that's terrible. Everybody else looked around the room. Yeah, well. everybody, we were serious. <laughs> it got really awkward again. We were hoping. Yeah. Yeah. Oh dear. Yours is the biggest departure, though, from who you are. I mean, as far as performing. I mean, yeah. Louis. It's a real is, performance. Yeah, it's a totally. I mean, everyone's different. performing, but yeah, yeah, you made the point. But sorry. It, it's the <laughs> far. The, it's the biggest acting Listen, job. Yeah. Being nominated for an Emmy is 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 good because. It might make people think of watching the show that haven't watched it. That's number one. It's nice that it got a vote from peers. But the biggest thing is for haters. That's why I like winning awards, because it annoys the people who didn't want me to win an award. Right. That's, 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 you that, love that. that. That's reason number one for everything. <laughs> <Is it? laughs> to, it'll annoy someone. It'll oh. annoy someone. Right Ricky... <laughs> Ricky... Takes on everybody. Don't you ever? <laughs> he's nuts. He doesn't have to do that. Don't you ever in a speech want to just tell people to go fuck themselves? That was mean to you throughout your career. Don't you ever? Yeah, but then it, it, it's quite sad, that isn't it? Because you should be yeah. over it. You know, I remember. Yeah, I mean, when you got a, you, you're at work and you've got a bad boss and you think if I won the lottery, I'd go and tell him to fuck off. But yeah. you wouldn't. Because you've won. If you won yeah. the lottery, you've won. What, you'd be nice to him and say it was wasn't too bad. Because you'd feel sorry for him because he'd thinking you've won the fucking lottery and I'm still here. So you you wouldn't actually. You wouldn't you wouldn't want to squash? But you could still practice in the shower. You still, it's, a nice <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good fantasy. Yeah. yeah, it is a good fantasy. Did you ever yeah. see? Here's what his fantasy is. You ever see the King of Comedy, the wedding yeah. scene on the Tonight on the Jerry Law uh, Lawford yeah. show, and they're like, yeah. Rupert, you were right and we were wrong. Wrong. Yeah. That's what he's looking for. That moment that, of that's, validation. That's it. That's exactly right. That's what people want. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's the best insight. It's like to a Woody comic. Allen thing when he yeah. gets him out and say, "You know nothing about my work. Thank right. you. If only life were like oh, that. Yeah. Of course, you were. You wanted. To, you, yeah, you want there to be a God, mm -hmm. and God goes on your tweet. Goes, no, Ricky was right. Right. You're an idiot. That's all, that's all we're for. Perfect. Yeah, that, that, that's what we're all looking yeah, for. Yeah, I know. That well, dog, that's it, isn't it? That dog thing is driving me nuts. Do yeah. They, do they like dogs at all in China? Well, it's not just China. It's, it's the Middle East. I, I hear they're, uh, it, they're it's, not it's fond the of far dogs. East, I think more that. Uh, um, but no, you know, it's, it's everywhere. Well. Everywhere's got an animal cruelty issue. It's just you know we're not right. And, uh, I've seen footage of that stuff where they have them not pulling it off, but then when these other animals are piled in a cart, it's like the, it's unnecessary for them to still be alive. Mm. It's just not. Uh, it's but just, they are. They just throw them in there because they don't give a cause fuck. Because they, they, they don't think they're they don't think they're sort of um, got any cognition or feeling or pain. They're just animals. Right. Like in Spain, the uh, uh, the other uh, the racetrack things, the, the dogs. When they get too old to to win, they just hang them. Why they hang them? Why hang them? I don't know. It's just a little thing. They go, well, that's what we do. We hang them. Oh, oh my God. I mean, bullfighting. You don't have to go far to see what is that. Right. Torturing a fucking animal. Uh, and they, they cut the tendons oh, of the bull so it looks like it's already charging. Right. It's just, it just can't lift its head. Right. Oh, Get the fuck yeah. out of here. Yeah, oh, yeah. Cut, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all in the presentation. It's fucking... Uh, oh, they, oh, they torture yeah. the damn things. Jesus and they're, their culture, they're all about it. Yeah. I don't know. It's I awful. don't get it. Yeah. Imagine I love that. people get killed doing that. that. That makes me very happy when people oh, get killed. brilliant, that. There's nothing brilliant. better. But I still feel bad that that bull died as well and didn't want to be there. Right. Dog fighting. Dog fighting's everywhere. Dog fighting's in America and England. And mm. you see these poor dogs, they're just thrown in and they're, they, they steal dogs. Right? In England, they, dogs go missing and they're bait. What? They just, they just give the, the, the pit bull the bloodlust. So the, the, it's just terrible. So your dog is... It, uh, honestly, there's things that you don't want in your fucking head, but right. you've got to do something. Right. Um, and, you know, people say, oh, don't tweet that picture, dude. And I think, yeah, let's not stop the picture. Let's stop the violence that caused the picture. Let's, you know, but it's... Do you feel like you're making a difference? I don't know. It seems like it's a tough I don't battle. know. It wouldn't matter if I wasn't, really. Because you've got... I've got to... you got to do something. Got to do something, you know. I, I, you know... It, well, I am probably over emotional. I could find a baby bird and I want to nurse it. Whereas the best thing is to leave it and it's going to die naturally and, and that's <laughs> yeah, it. Just one at, sitting next Jimmy? to you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I do have baby bird qualities physically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm I, what, we're, we're trying, we're trying I have to, to fucking feed it from my mouth. We're trying <laughs> to adopt it. <laughs> you <a> smelly gift. <laughs> we're, we're trying to adopt a dog for my little kid. It's fucking four pages of paperwork. They were, 
they want to come to my fucking house and they won't get back to me. Yeah, because I mean, because of what he's talking about. But because uh, people go and adopt dogs, just grab a dog but and they abuse it right. again. Come on, we're they have white. to vet you. We're white. Here's what I'm saying. It's that we got a little. We have a little kid. We just want a dog, a little dog for our kid. We felt it back in the day when we, when I was getting a so dog. So why did they, they, yeah, back in why the day they when you were getting you? gifts? They have they just haven't. I don't know. They even come to our house and interview. Well, us. they're gonna smell the mold and then you're fucked. The mold's yeah. in the basement. Yeah. You're yeah. fucked. Right. Give them a gift. <laughs> <laughs> just sweeten the deal. Right. Just put an anchovy in their top pocket. There you go. It smells. Yeah, it's many gifts. Yeah, Rich, I did the same thing when I adopted my dog Diva, and you you have to Diva. because. The, yeah. yeah, she's a lovely white all dog. Right, I right. love Diva. Yeah, of course, yeah. um, you can't say anything in this room. I'm <laughs> no, to no, say no. anything just in case. Oh, you, oh, you came into a tough room. Yeah. Yeah. This is a tough room. Yeah, you, you have to, to be on these guard. Dogs, these people go and they get dogs and they abuse them. They have to come vet you and make sure that the home is good because they're not just going to give yes. cats and dogs okay, but to fucking uh, savages. Obviously, obviously, obviously. I don't want to use that word to fucking assholes. To fucking you know. I assume you two have been friends for a long time. <laughs> cellmates. They were cellmates. We've been going back a long oh, time. It'd yeah. be awful if we were cellmates. Wouldn't, oh. it, be, wouldn't it be awful? Oh, yeah. It'd just be awful. Just having a cellmate would be and awful. He'd be complaining while if he was, was going blowing to prison, me. I'd want my own room. I'd just <laughs> want my own room. Just a little sweet, an ensuite. Right? Uh, every time I blew him, I'd shut up. I get it. Shut up. <laughs> Stop talking. Just let me suck you off and get this over with. <laughs> get it over with. <laughs> oh. oh, God. I yeah, know that's the... Th yeah. I know oh, you. I know oh. they got to fill out the paperwork. They come to your house. Yes. But here's the thing: if obviously most people, if they if they were creeps, they're gonna hide it when they come to their. You, you know what I mean? No one's gonna leave. Fucking if you dog go to, listen, if you go to the house, and fucking, if you go to the house and it, there's shit everywhere, there's other animals. And, there's no and, animals. And, and, but but if they go and they no, see it's a shitty house yes. and it's not a good place for the dog, they're gonna go Wait, fuck but yourself. But Bobby, his point is you would clean up all that crap. Yes, yeah, so but you, you no. Let me tell you, get your house you all that, set. Then you probably would be responsible. Right. There you go. Uh, there you go. So you know, it's people right. who you know have a go to get a dog. I mean, I don't think many people clean up their flat to get a dog. For you to bait as fighting. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 yeah. no. That's the Ottoman. They'd be allowed on there. Okay, they've gone. Throw it in the fucking pit. Throw the little fucker in the pit. They've gone. And let's mess this place back up. Let's put shit everywhere. <laughs> My wife put we, shit on the frog yeah, and piss. Everybody yeah, piss yeah, right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, everybody. Where's the shit you cleaned up earlier? Re spread it. I fucking. I bought this. Well, this fucking birdhouse <laughs> that Jesus. you can put on your outside window when, when, when Jim comes over inside <laughs> and see inside the birdhouse. Yeah, when it's yeah. When yeah. It, uh, does that really get, work? I, I, no, because we can't get a fucking you. bird to First, move in. I've had yeah. the house for two and a half because, months. So the bird comes out, and looks at your flat, goes, "No, we don't. No, we're not interested." No. I can't get a fucking bird to move the view. in. I put yeah. food, everything. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, don't go there. That guy isn't even allowed a dog. <laughs> That's they're gonna come and. <laughs> you can't get a bird to move in with you. <laughs> Fucking free, nice house. It's free. You have to, first of all, I got the same thing. And it's if a you scam, read the, right? If you read the directions, you have to put it up high. Yeah. And you have to put it up at a certain time of year when birds nest. Yeah, I did. You when? Did well, that the certain time of the year. I never face to go Christmas. <laughs> you idiot. That's, that's, not, that's, that's not bird nesting season. It's a trick. <laughs> no, I no, because he's a trick. There's nothing nice about him. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it was in the spring, in the beginning of the spring we put it up, I think. Okay. Yeah. In April or something. Pretty good. That's, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. That's 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 I, but I they would guess. rather live in my fucking dryer vent than in a nice house. And that's, you know, fuck. Fuck. Your dryer vent. And, yeah. and yeah, maybe because it's clear. Vent, maybe they don't like the fact that you'd see into it. They don't like that. No, but you have a thing so they can't see one way a mirror on it. Yeah. Oh, and I, I Maybe put the bird mirror food, creeps them out. Yeah. I put bird food out. Do you stand like there and get in the fucking house? Yeah, they fly <laughs> in the fucking house. <laughs> they don't like the mirror. They think there's already birds living in there, so they fucking leave. <laughs> It's true. It's a good point. So, so what birds? We, what, what birds it for? Well, how big's the hole in the little thing? It's very small. It's not for a fucking eagle. It's for you know, like a, yeah. like a little bird. They have yeah. an, they have an eagle yeah. one though. What kind yeah. of, I don't care what kind of bird moves in. I'm not you just want any bird. Oh, get out! No crows. <laughs> Sorry, we don't want <laughs> to crows. No vacancies. <laughs> Sorry. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, That's great. And, and then I have a, a, a bird feeder, and you yeah. know, it just I like it seeing sounds, birds come. In there. It sounds fun. like a like a nice it's setup. The, it's the worst. Is it? Yeah, it's the worst. Do you think someone's gone wrong? It's the worst because what it gives, 
it, smell of? It, it, is, it, is it an old birdhouse? <laughs> no, it's, it's brand new, is it? How long have you had it? It's it's April. <laughs> it's, it fucks with your self esteem. That's what it, all it is. What? You think you're going to put it up and you, the birds are going to move in, and you're going to have a new friend, and you're going to watch little birds no. hatch, and it never happens. And every yeah. day you go to it, and it's not there. It's just like your life. It's just like, no. ugh. No. Every day, nobody likes me. Dumb birds yeah, don't I've care got, about I've me. I've got a pond, right? Just so I can have like frogs and newts. Yeah. I'll put a couple in, they all fucked off. <laughs> we got a, we got a hedgehog, right? Um, yeah. A disabled hedgehog, right? It's somehow. It, it must have been so shit, our garden, it climbed a fucking wall, and it had three legs, and it got away. <laughs> we, we adopted this... Uh, like, uh, you try and do the right thing. Which, and it wasn't there. No, which, yeah, exactly. It's so annoying, isn't it? You, you ungrateful <laughs> bastard. Where's <laughs> Tripod? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want it to be like a Disney movie. I want to go there, and uh, suddenly everyone's singing zippity doo dah and the squirrels <laughs> coming down, and they can sort of understand my language. That's, yes. what, that's what you wanted to you be You want like. to be loved by the animals, <laughs> but exactly, for some yeah. reason they hate you. Uh, <laughs> If there was a war or it broken into, they they somehow get together and sort of fight this rubble, you know, Defend squirrels, you. yeah, yeah, SAS yeah. squirrels you want your working backyard, together. You want your backyard to be half animated, half real life. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. Well, you know, it's not only about the bird moving. It's something to do with my kid to watch it with my kid. Like we planted yeah. flowers on the side of my house, me and right. my kid. Yeah. And the fucking land, the fucking townhouse landscapers cut them all down. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> morons! Yeah, fucking, they fucking cut them all down. Me and my, you know, my kid's heart. So now I had to go out and get fucking flower pots and plant flowers too late oh, in the season with oh, my kid. The oh, fucking bird oh, won't move in. The flowers wait, are cut. Why do they cut down? No were, lot, were you growing there's vegetables? A, there's an or? awful lot of angry <laughs> tragedy going on in there. this, right. this room. <laughs> And uh, said uh, my I, kid has no this place. is why no one who works here should ever carry a gun. There's <laughs> <laughs> an awful lot. There's a lot of pent up hatred. Uh, everything, no, it's the same thing I do. My kid fucking, you know, they fucking mow it down like what? it's fucking. There's flowers and tomatoes growing. I took time to plant it you with the tomatoes? fucking kid. And they cut down your tomatoes. They cut the fucking whole area down and put wood chips over it. I don't want fucking wood chips on the side of my townhouse. I wanted flowers and tomatoes. Are you I allowed to have them or not? No. Yeah, why, why not? Uh, can I, I say know. something? Maybe, 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 maybe that's against say regulation. You want. Because they don't, they, a lot of times in that area, it grows weeds, and weeds are green until the flowers. Shut up, green thumb douchebag. Of course, it, 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 it doesn't matter. You can still why? see wow. it. Why, why, why are you mad at him? Because no, no, you're sticking out cut the weeds. Exactly. Exactly. If he was there, he would have eaten them them grazing. That's just fucking. Come on, Jim. Okay, so why? There's weeds there. So then, guess what? Do a little weeding if you're a gardener. They just assumed there was weeds. Weeds. That fucking turned into a cow joke. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, Sorry. <laughs> So you're saying there was weeds and they cut? I'm saying that they what they they don't know and they, they, they don't know what it is yet where yeah, that right. is and they're like fuck it let me take care. Of it. He was guy, trying to do you a favor. But who is this guy coming around doing you a favor? Is it just like a no? Municipal? You live in a townhouse and they have right. the fucking maintenance crew that comes yeah, in and just right. they don't know. Yeah, you know you can't. It's hard to talk with them. But what did these flowers look like it, to make them think it, there was weeds? They were just oh, green. They it they was symbolic. Like weeds, they didn't come up yeah, yet. exactly. That's my point. Right. They look like weeds. He didn't. No, he fucking cut down the weed. He did his job. It doesn't matter. He, he didn't cut him down. He was going to throw the wood chips on and smother them. Either way. It was symbolic of everything. Like, he's planted these things and he's yeah. nurtured them. Yeah. And they just come and they get cut down into nothing. That's all it was. It yeah. reminded you of everything in show business. That, you went a long way I for that. I certainly did, and I meant Holy every word of it. shit. <laughs> he might need a hug. I don't need... Don't touch Jimmy, me. give him a hug. <laughs> give him a hug, Jimmy. No. You want a hug? Take a hug. No, just take a hug. Just take a hug. If I knew how to hug, if I hugged, I wouldn't have been a fucking it's drug addict. Take a hug. hug. It's Hugs. a hug. We all need a hug today. Okay. It's a fucking sad day. So why don't me and you try to hug him together? We'll hug him. If you can get to the why. No hugs today? I, I don't fuck, dude. I'm just fucking trying to give you a fucking hug. Yeah, and yeah you really? gotta attack me. Yeah. How about I like a being hug when I gave you your fucking fishing pole? How about yeah. thank you? How about thank you? Bob, Even give him a hug a for the fishing older. pole. No, look, that's look. okay. We can do a handshake. He doesn't like being touched. He doesn't like being touched at all. Yeah, he doesn't like being touched. Wow. Wow. But it's not even. This looks like someone from the Fantastic Four. 
But he's not kidding. He doesn't like. <laughs> oh, he it. look how uncomfortable oh. he gets. Yeah, that was that was yeah. scary. And he's beat it was red. How slow it was. <laughs> it was it was slow. It was how slow. It never what it was. Like, you don't want to have to get. You're gonna get. All right, you're friends now. You guys are friends now. How hug goes? Yeah. That was it. Is you you get so fucked up with physical contact? What happened to you? Nothing. I think. What do you think happened to him? Every hole was molested. I wish. Oh God! I mean, look, the one host left is eating. I mean, it's done. It's like he shut down. He shut down four years ago. Wow. We're all gonna wind up in a basement in Long Island. I've been on this show before where neither of them were here, so this is a bonus for me. This is. Fifty percent is a good turnout for the OP and Anthony show. This is that's above average. Oh God! Remember oh, those days? He would just show up and we wouldn't be here. Ah, we're gonna. So go. this is your second show after after you're at the yeah yeah the OP. We'll show. figure it out. We'll figure it all out. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Mm. Oh, but it's good. Uh, we're happy to see you. Is, is it's, that it? it's no is that, Emmy. Yeah. Is, there, is there an appeal? Does he want to come back? Is there? He's, I think he would, sure. Yeah. I mean, but he also he he could also do his own show too. I mean, he's set up, so we just don't know. It's How come every time you guys talk about him, you lower your voice like you're in fucking? We're having a conversation. Yeah. Having a good time. No, that's true. Sorry, that's my fault. Because I've been here, so I don't know anything. He cares. Exactly. Yeah. Listen, what? Hey, you just got angry about birds not fucking validating you. Like we're talking quietly. Shut up! I'm not. We're talking, We're talking about our friend of 20 about our years. Friend, but you were just animated going to fucking birds and rejecting me. <laughs> okay, shut up, you idiot. So I love so it when Jim gets angry. Because it, it, it looks like some sort of turtle. <laughs> <laughs> he's made it out of the sewer. Yeah, and look. now he's going to just get three other guys and we're going to slice people up. <laughs> Jim looks like a stress doll when you squeeze it when he gets yeah. angry. <laughs> yeah, I like Jim. I've, I've, Thank uh, you. I, I knew Jim when he was fat, right? And yeah. now, and uh, he's, he's gone through a lot of... Um, a lot of changes. It's Twitter. You too, you lost a lot of weight. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, let the compliment be on me oh, for a second. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having a nice moment there's, here. There's, there's there. something good, slightly Jim. disconcerting about his Twitter profile. Because it, it's a picture of him, right? right. Yeah. And it looks like it was taken in some sort of strange prison thing. It's a glamour it, shot. Yeah, it's a glamour shot, but you can see that you're naked. Yeah. Even though you can't see anything, you know that he's actually, he's naked. Mm -hmm. Why do you take a picture naked and then put it, put it on your... Ah, you know, just figure, give the girls a little something to look at. <laughs> 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 it's advertising a little bit. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. No, show them the merchandise. <laughs> I do that. I, I like to annoy people with my Twitter profile, but the yeah. one I had in lipstick creep people oh, out so was, badly. Yeah, yeah, that that, that, one that was, was really bad. So I, took I don't that remember one that one. What was that? that one what was that from again? I did a, a piece for Leno and yeah. uh, at Comic Con a couple years ago. Yeah. And I dressed like a woman at one point. So we're in the car going back to the hotel. And I just took a, a photo of myself, but the wig was off. Yeah. And it, it had like a strap with like a little oh, dress. It looked yeah. gross. Yeah. That always looks like something from Silence of the Lambs, doesn't it? Yes. A guy yeah. with just lipstick. Yes. If it, it's just it's just lipstick. Full <laughs> right. makeup, yeah, whatever. But just, just lipstick, the lipstick, lipstick, there's something that's creepier. white. Yeah, and yes. a sundress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just a sundress always creeps me out on a guy. She's <laughs> 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 in the back of a limo. <laughs> <laughs> I, he wasn't coming from Len. No, he was coming from a fucking a trick. <laughs> he just made he just made 150. Oh, no way could he make 150. No, no way. No fucking way. Yeah, that was a long. That was a 12 hour shift. Yeah. Was, Jesus Christ. He was 20 points. <laughs> Who's gonna go? I'll have the one that looks like an angry turtle. <laughs> who, who is this guy? Who is this Japanese businessman? <laughs> I want turtle. I want angry turtle. With, uh, Jesus Yoda. Christ! <laughs> yeah, yeah. How much Yoda? How much for Yoda? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish this was anybody but me, but I'm still enjoying it. <laughs> he's just mad because he, he just he's killing you because your cousin escaped from his pond. Uh, 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 wow. Ah, oh, he's got a bunch oh. of Trekkies that want to fuck him. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, uh, oh, no. Jesus. This show shouldn't be on the air, This show? No, no. Right. Oh, should be fired. <laughs> no, yeah, very close. Be fired. <laughs> Think of the millions they'd save. Let's just close this down, God. open our animal sanctuary. Yeah. Yeah. Have the money in this place. I've mm. just been learning over the past few days. I can't believe how much you guys are paid. 
It's blown my mind. Well, they're paid, not me. Yeah, yeah. I know. I thought of you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How does that make you feel? Not good. Really? <laughs> no, not as bad as the turtle jokes. But not <laughs> 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 Jimmy, Jimmy looks weird. Oh, oh uh, I've God. never considered you Yoda oh. in my life. Really? Oh, I've like never thought you. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> fucking crying. Fucking oh God <laughs> Almighty! Crying. Oh. <laughs> oh. We got Pete Rose coming in today too. Yes. What time do you guys go to now? Oh. We're supposed Wait, to go to Tampa. We're going late. We'll go late. We'll go late. It's so casual. It's so casual. Because it doesn't matter. None of this matters anymore. No, no. But also, that's the best radio. I of course. Radio, assuming no one was listening, and right. I was right. No. But, <laughs> but it was it was the best stuff. The best stuff. We have nothing you really to lose. Do radio, like no one's listening. Yeah, no, we I have nothing to lose now. That's the thing. Yeah, you can't <laughs> start worrying. No one is. And if they are listening, <laughs> all if right. They are listening, fuck all right. Them. That's what we say. Yeah. No. no, don't care about your audience. We took a, we took a bunch of shots at the company yesterday. They didn't even say a word. I was pretty amazed the by company. that. Yeah, they didn't care. They didn't care. Yeah. So oh. it's so weird. I, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Why are uh, they going to care? Why, huh? they, why, why yeah, would they, they don't care? Like it. What do you mean you don't know Dude, what's going on? Like it? You don't know... We what, have a contract till October, and then uh, right. and then we'll see what happens. October uh, what? Uh, fourth. Fourth is... So, fuck out, so, so, so they, they come in, they say, listen, we're not going to renew your contract. It's not open anywhere. What do you do? You, you go... Well, I, I'm pretty rich, so I'll... Yeah. I'll take some time. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you'll do something else? I'll you'll do your own thing? Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll take a break. Yeah, just chill out for a little while. I get two small kids, so... Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. come I come back and I go, look, if anyone's looking for a partner, I'm happy to show up. I'll be here early because I need the money. Yeah, you don't okay. need money. You're I doing know, I'm well. just kidding, Rich. Relax. It's just jokes. Just being oh. silly. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, what the fuck? Okay. Are you CNN all of a sudden? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the we just called him a Yoda and a turtle. I know. For nine I used to find I was a, a prostitute who sucked dick for 12 yeah. hours for $150. <laughs> you would do it. No <laughs> issue with that. When, when, when you, you got it. money, <laughs> you would do it. Shut up. Oh, fuck me. I'm just fucking. Oh, God. Oh. I'm just worried. Oh, fuck me. It's when it doesn't matter. See, nothing matters. When at times like this, you think, look, we're we're all gonna die, and oh, then we're gonna Jesus. be forgotten in a in a fifty probably years. 50? Probably fifty. You think fifty? Yeah. I'll I, I probably last a bit longer. Yeah, a lot longer with yeah. seven Emmys and yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'll, <laughs> you'll last longer than us. <laughs> yeah, we're lucky to get fifty. They'll still be playing the office. <laughs> yeah, sure, they really will. <laughs> yeah, it'll be, yeah. And Derek and extras and all the movies. <laughs> you'll have to have a special thing to you, play it on. You might but, get a century. You might yeah, get a hundred. Yeah, I know. Hundred years then, after your death. So yeah, just yeah. So what just, was your favorite piece of work? Do you have a favorite one that you've done? Like, uh, as, uh, I don't know. Office or Derek, I think. Yeah. For, di for completely different reasons, but yeah. Um, The Office, because of its success. Um, no, no, I'm bummed, but, uh, yeah, I, I think, yeah, The Office or Derek, I'd say. Yeah. Da I think my, uh, it, it's funny, because your, your favorite one is usually the one you're doing now, because you think you've, you keep improving, even yeah. though it might be you might be delusional. And most people think, no, we like the other one. Right. But you, you're doing what you what you like, so, you, so you, as long as you get final edit, the last thing you do should be your favorite thing. I think. Well, I think extras was so fucking yeah, good too. So what a that was such a great insight to the. I'll just get round to yeah. me. We should be insulting each other. No, no. I'm trying to get I'll, 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 no, I'll tell you how we got around. around. No, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you how it got around. We were all having a bunch of big laughs, yeah. and then John Stossel went, "What's your favorite piece <laughs> of work?" Shut <laughs> <laughs> your mouth, okay? Let me in. Let us. <laughs> because you know what? There's no interviewers left in this we show. We've yeah. asked. Ricky, Rick, yeah. I know that, but we we've been we've been talking to Ricky for like years. Okay, so I've never. I met him. I'm sorry. Well, let's ask him on the, in the elevator later. Okay, I, 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 <laughs> I can't. Bobby's got to teach me how to work this fucking microphone later in the elevator. Uh, before what? Get, it's just. A, oh. I'm just. I wanted to oh. ask him a question. I could answer like, that for you. I will tell you guys, after the show. Hey guys, I'm up for an Emmy too. You know, I was nominated. Are you? I swear to you, for Louis. Oh, are you? Oh, excellent. Yeah. yeah. Swear to God, you are the show. Here, the here, episode. Here's the deal. The, the episode. They called me. No, me. Every here's well, the deal. Guess, guess, oh, guess, 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 no, because you know this, and I was I was literally like, oh my god, oh my god, I almost started crying. But they have to nominate like seven hundred people, and then they narrow it down to five. But I was one of those seven hundred people. Really? Oh, nice. no. no, you were twelve of them. <laughs> 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 oh, this is merciless. This is merciless. Oh, this is like fucking Hunger Games in here, isn't it? Well, it's like yeah, a <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, 
Oh, so wait, you, you, they, they now it's down to five people? Yeah, it's like 170 or 200 people. Because every show has to nominate every every network, every right, cat. Right. So there's hundreds and hundreds. So of FX put you... Yeah, for, for, but it's literally, there's like 300 people, whatever it do is. Do you know what you made it to? Like, do you no, know, did you make it to 47? No, I wouldn't even get fucking... No, you don't even... If you look at the names, it's like, there's seven people you Al know. Al Pacino. Yeah, there's for, like for seven people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, then yeah. everybody else else is fucking who well, yeah I, we got no. a couple in for extras and it were, but it was like Ben Stiller Kate Winslet right. it, it's and Ian Gary Mackey who the fuck that <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so you're yeah. Emmy nominated then well, no it's just Shut up it, yep Sort of. <laughs> you could use that as a credit. I would not. Well, who the fuck am I? I mean, no, I'm not going to yeah, use sure. that. Emmy nominated. When it I was, did, when I played Lenny what, Bruce. What do they call that? It's it's not. You're not. not you're nominated. Yeah. It, this is uh, considered. Considered by right, the yeah. network, and then they pick the five or six yeah, people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like you're in the package that they send. Please yeah. consider. Yeah. Well, no. Oh, yeah. That's that's nothing. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's not. Oh. Well, here's the thing, though. Is when, they, when they sent me the email, when they sent me exactly, the, that's how you know it's not real. They send you an email. Yeah, sure. well, no, how many Emmy nominated yeah. people get a fucking email? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you may have won. <laughs> did, did a Nigerian prince also say you'd won a million dollars if you just sent in your bank details? My management said it. Hey, FX wants to uh, put, submit you for an Emmy. And you said no way. Show. <laughs> oh, for I did this for the fucking art of it. <laughs> if they put me in, I am walking that's out. That's what I because I don't do Louis for that. I don't do <laughs> Louis for that or money. <laughs> oh god! Oh, this is terrible. Um, yeah. No. Oh. oh, we did <laughs> laughs today. This is, that's this is for like sure. in the desert. We have to go to sleep, but yeah. we're, we're meant to take it in terms of looking after the money. <laughs> but we've all we've all. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ, uh, this is shit. tough. We uh, we got to get ready for P Rose. You okay. could, you you can know, stick yeah. around. Though. That was fun. You, you yeah. can stick around. Oh, uh, whatever. it's up to you. We yeah. love you to stay. Okay. Yeah. Do you know I'm anything sure about baseball? I know nothing about baseball. That's but, perfect. But, but I'll, listen, I'll observe oh. for ten minutes. And you I'll, observe. You yeah. know who he is, though. Uh, yeah, but most hits in baseball history, amazing. and he's not in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Right? Because he's gambling. He was gambling. Uh, gambling. Well, 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 no, no, he's not here yet. We do have to break before P Rose. That's all. So, so more we'll of Ricky Gervais and you hang are out. You, are you promoting anything? I heard you were just stopping in. But Derek's on Netflix. Derek's right? on Netflix. And it's great. I've seen both Absolutely. seasons. Absolutely. <laughs> Any Emmy voters out there, <laughs> vote now for me and Derek. Yeah, because yes. a lot of Emmy voters actually listen to this show. Do they really? No. <laughs> <laughs> for more Opie. This, what? This says he's with Jim? How the fuck do I say that? Oh, so now they have an announcer and no name for the show. This is what is this backwards ass bullshit? God damn it! <clears throat> we'll be back in a moment. And now, 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 back to the show. Back to the show. Aren't you glad you didn't drive off that bridge? Got a busy room today. Ricky Gervais, Yo. Bob Kelly, uh -huh. Rich Voss, Jim Norton, and now. Hey, Pete, Pete Rose. How you doing? How you guys doing? Good. God damn, Pete Rose is in the studio. How are you, sir? Hey, oh, what's up? What's going on? You? No, I don't know about that. <laughs> in the news. It's a little bit, right? <laughs> yeah. Even in Las Vegas. It, uh, really? Yeah. Are you, are you keep up with what's been going on with the show? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> He's smiling. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're in a we're in a strange situation. I'm sure. I it did happens. radio with Anthony for 20 years, and he's yeah. not here. It just feels fucking weird as all yeah. hell. Well, you know Ricky Gervais, by the way, hey, to your right. How you doing, man? Nice One of the funniest guys alive. Is that, is that well? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying nothing. I'm from England. I know nothing about American sport. I, I, I'm just observing. You smell really good. You really oh, do. I'm not that way. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> For 150, I'll give you 12 hours. <laughs> if you don't mind getting blown by a turtle. Oh, oh why, Rich? That's just dirty. Pizza Come legend. On. That's inappropriate. <laughs> you get, and then I you got fucking leather's watch. Then you got Bob Kelly over here. Hi, buddy. Hi, hey, nice Bob. to meet you. Play. Buddy, hey, buddy. Where in the hell's Buddy at? Yeah, exactly. And and then, don't, don't be so casual with Pete. And I'm then sorry. Uh, Rich Voss. Rich, how are you? How's it going? Pretty good. Where the, where's the cards? We're going to play a fucking game here? <laughs> 
<laughs> you crash for cards. He's, he's craps. Yeah. Craps. That's the game. Hey, what's your cards poison? Yeah. What's your game? Uh, I don't baseball. I love that watch, yeah. man. Well, that's a knockoff. Is it? Do that. Yeah. What's it a knockoff? Oh, no, it isn't. That's real. <laughs> that's not a fucking oh, I'm so knockoff. stupid. <laughs> kind of my dumb. <laughs> oh, boy. That's well, a funny man. Just... Get in there. Jump in there. <laughs> Oh, you got me invited? <laughs> god damn. I love Pete Rose. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking Pete doesn't play. <laughs> tell Ricky Javis, uh, get in there. <laughs> really just get, get, get in the game, kid. So where's your uh, where's your uh, ex partner at? Is he? He's uh, working, uh, working for Donald Sterling. Had <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that one ready? That's, in there? Uh, that's, that's right. right. I think you wrote that on the way over. I'm going right. to bond, with, bond with Pete Rose, making fun of Anthony. <laughs> Fuck him. That's right. I'm Pete, Pete and I. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> as, a, as an outsider, oh, what do you think happened with that whole thing? I don't know, man. Because I don't There's think you a, listened to our show. I wonder show. why TMZ was downstairs. Are they? Yeah, they're down there. That's uh, quite for Ricky, though. Waiting for one of you guys to come out they, they caught me on the way yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I can't remember what they asked me. What they asked me? <laughs> oh, yeah. What, what one thing in a woman would turn you off? I said a big ginger beard. I mean, what... <laughs> I would say breathing. <laughs> All right, great. So you don't want them to have a beard, and you want them to be dead. How is that helpful to anybody? <laughs> well, you show want them people. to have a penis. <laughs> 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 The lack of penis turned you off completely. Yeah, I mean, look. Oh, I'm, I suck. Hold on a second. Let's explain to Pete here. They're just kidding, Pete. <laughs> just, I, I've gone that way, but I don't. I'm just a baseball guy, man. <laughs> I've been playing with balls my whole life. <laughs> so is <All> Jim. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're happy you're here to discuss this. <laughs> yeah. Why are we here? Why? I have no idea. It's Tuesday, nothing better to do. Is that it? Yeah. We're staying late for the, for Pete Rose. We love Pete Rose. <laughs> this is an easy host to do this job. Uh, yeah. Just sit around listening to these clowns and That's make it fun. Laugh. Yeah. We just fuck around. <laughs> yeah, but he's Look, the only oh. one getting paid the big bucks. That's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, poor uh, Jim. Poor uh, Jim's on uh, yeah. nearly on welfare. Yeah. He's getting, oh, yeah, he's really? getting time, millions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. millions yeah. on that. Have a tough and he's doing all the work. Really, yeah. he's just he's just going oh, so few, twenty yeah. years, and he's doing all the stuff, <laughs> and he's still getting paid. Yeah. He's getting his share now. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck! He looks like a dried up soccer player. Who me? Rich yeah. Wash. <laughs> <laughs> That's the weirdest heckle I have ever heard in my life. That's literally the weirdest heckle. That's amazing. Hey, buddy, what? You look like a dried-up soccer player. First of all, I know what you mean, though. Yeah. I don't know we thought that one yet. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hold on, let us finish laughing at you, fucking, just a, a fucking dried up Ecuadorian. Shut sure. up. <laughs> and he noticed something across the room. Oh, just oh, kidding. I thought it was a good, oh, that's a great line. That's a great line. Oh, yeah. you that's right. Like, you look like you're out of breath. I mean, I am out of fucking, I'm out of breath. I had to walk around you and him. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that is. Uh... <laughs> Say so somebody oh, took steroids, it didn't work. Oh, <laughs> it's got that steroid color. I feel like I'm in a gym with that color here. Well, I play about the golf, okay? I'm sorry, you look like a light skinned scallop. I play golf. I play golf. I just got tattoos playing golf. I just, I, just, I, just, I just finished a tournament uh, in, uh, in the NBA. No, yeah, I just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> That's a very good question. Uh, uh, fucking Pete Rose. Uh, uh, fucking uh, welcome. <laughs> welcome to the show. This and you're promoting. You guys do this every day, huh? Yeah. Uh, not, not as brutal as this, but pretty much. Really? Yeah. No. But you, it gets you like ugly this kind of atmosphere. Oh, you, you're fun. fucking professional yeah, sports. You're yeah. not afraid of just getting teased or making fun no, of people. No, hell no. This is fun. Where you at with the Hall of Fame these days? Where you at? It's in Cooperstown. <laughs> not even a, still not a shot. Not no, an no, I don't, not, I don't worry about that, man. I'm, I know I, you don't I give screwed a fuck. That, I screwed that up. So what am I going to worry about that? I'm not going to come on your show and whine about that. You know, mm. I messed it up. So, but everyone knows you should be there. So well, that's, that's got to feel good. 
I only got 22 records. Why would I be there? <laughs> <laughs> Major League Records. So tell me about this. He might have been a he might have been a bad boy, and that's why he's not in the Hall of Fame. I gamble. Oh, I gamble. A little gambling yeah. action. Okay. Yeah. You guys gamble in England, don't you? Oh yeah. Well, yeah. it's legal everywhere in England. It's uh, uh, on every street corner. Well, it was legal everywhere except where I did it. <laughs> <laughs> now, now it's legal yeah. everywhere. <laughs> you might have been betting on games. Yeah. Oh, oh right. Yeah. yeah. Oh. No, I was. I wouldn't mind. They're not uh, mind uh, about. I'm it. just trying to be polite because so I it, feel like getting a fist sandwich. The fact that you admitted it. Shouldn't that be enough for them to say, hey, fuck it, put him in? How well, do you not have a brilliant spokesman like this speaking for you? <laughs> no, I mean, what the fuck? He's too busy running marathons. <laughs> okay. How can, you know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. So, well, I've been what? suspended 25 years. Yeah. 25 years. I mean, you know, the last time, well, I, checked, the last time I checked, the guy shot the Pope got a second chance. Yeah. Right. Didn't he? I don't fucking know. I'm a Jew. Why would I follow that? <laughs> exactly. What do I know right. about the Pope? <laughs> high fives. That's, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Some high fives in the room. Oh, P. Ross. I like that. Oh, I like that. that <laughs> He's not even Jewish. He just does it for the yes, joke. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they should forgive and, and yeah, move on finally. Twenty five years. And not that I care. I don't really give a fuck. But it's thank bullshit. you. I, I appreciate get, that. No, but I, it's bullshit. You know what I mean. I, I understand. It's you know what I'm saying. I got problems. There's Broke Ty Cobb's record. Fuck it. Well, I'm yeah. reading in front of me, but 4,256 hits. I mean, I, the, no one's ever going to break that record. That or the or the the major league the wins record in, in pitching. I think of the two. Five eleven. Yeah. yeah. Wal, who's that? Walter Johnson. No, yeah. No one's going to yeah. break those. Those records. are two records that. Yeah. I, I think a record would never be broken is uh, Johnny Vandermeer pitched back to back no hitters. No. You had to pitch three. Wow. No right. hitters in a row. That's pretty hard to do. Yeah. Three? Why, that's a record? Three? No, two no. is a record. Yeah. But you'd have to pit, just break yeah. the record, you'd have to do three? Yeah, I get it. He just explained it. He just explained it. He just said it, and, and then, then we, we all got it. You didn't. Look, so you're good with numbers, but look what it did for you. <laughs> <laughs> What are you laughing about over there? Yeah. I didn't I care for that one. So far, so we can't. Yeah. Yeah. That was a low blow. I didn't care for that either. That was a low blow. No, no, that was a low blow. We're having fun, but that was too much. I think <laughs> too far, too far. Hey, you, can, you can chip in, Chubby, anytime <laughs> you want. <laughs> oh shit! The hippo called me okay. elephant black. <laughs> This is getting like short shanks, <laughs> isn't it? This is the first one to break. This is the most vicious. Exactly, yeah. Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh. oh, shit, me. Oh, shit. Uh, I blame <laughs> you, Ricky. I blame you. I, I, I've got to go, I'm afraid. I've got to move Why? on. I just wanted to see what a living legend was like. And he's pretty cool. And he's fucking mean, isn't he? Like yeah, Seth, yeah, Seth yeah, Myers yeah, last yeah, night kept calling me a legend. Yeah, I said, "Do you know something I don't know?" He said, "Why?" I said, "Because legends, legends are dead." Okay, I'm a living legend. I'm if living you're gonna call legend. me, so you're living saying, legend. We're saying goodbye to Ricky. All right, leaving. bye, Ricky. Oh, where are you going, man? Thanks, where are you going? Back down. He just wanted to say. He just wanted to say. He's, he's been here for an hour. So we, we oh, just he's been here. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, that's Thanks. rude. You have to mill the show. We'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> this is a new show. You're taking two girls with you. You are a son of a bitch, aren't you? <laughs> he's taking all, he's taking all the women out of the studio. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh. Now we can get down to business. Yeah. <laughs> Look at I'm, I'm going I'm to tweet it. Okay, buddy. Okay. What's, the, what's, the, what's the shirt all about? What's the, your pull up wear? Oh, fuck. I, you know what? I, I wanted to wear a nice shirt in here. For, know, for, for P. Rose? What happened? <laughs> 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 I mean, oh, nobody shit. can see you. Oh, shit. <laughs> We're doing can see you. Is this on TV? Uh, no, no, it's not. No. No. I'm still getting over no. Check out video, though. <laughs> we'll we'll put video. it up somewhere. Just say hi, fuck oh, it. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. Oh, funny mofos. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Pete's promoting uh, Sports Beef, the newest yes. fantasy sports gaming mobile app. How do you app. get a name, Opie? Fucking, uh, I'm not happy What's about it. Greg. But when I was 12, I got a nickname. I'm not happy about it. I'm not going to... Opie was on Andy Griffith, That's wasn't he? what I looked like. Well, I guess that's right. Yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Opie. But now that... Hey, don't, Opie. <laughs> right. <laughs> now that I'm a bit older, it's, uh, it's kind of uh, not that great. Anyway, what's up with the sports beat? <clears throat> Explain this thing. Sports beat. Get back it's to a, the abuse of the hell It's a gaming app. Yeah. 
where you can participate on a daily basis. And uh, 7 out of 10 people win money. Really? It's an opportunity. It's going to create a lot of fans because, like I said, it's a, it's a daily uh, app. Right. You know, you can pick your team. I'll pick my team. We'll go to the bar and watch the game. Right. And root against each other. Right. And uh, you got a good chance of winning, 70% chance. For all sports? Yeah. Yeah. Golf. We're not up yet. We'll be ready for uh, maybe uh, playoffs and baseball. We're definitely ready for football. Right. What about the British Open? Probably. <laughs> Well, the British Open, that's this week, isn't it? Yeah, I think it yeah. is this week. Yeah, it is this week. Yeah. It starts yeah. Thursday. Tiger don't play. Who gives a shit? Uh, I think please, he's playing. There's so many great golfers Is he playing? Now. Is he going to play? Is he he's gonna play? playing, right? Yeah, there's a lot know. of good golfers. There's so many yeah, good there fucking is. guys good golfers. Mm. to watch. And is it? I never got into gambling that much. Like, I, like oh, for really, I'm, you fuck guys without rubbers. I didn't say I didn't have fun. I'm saying I don't. No, I don't do that. That's not no, true. That's Pete's moving his chair. <laughs> no, but, <laughs> closer. <laughs> no, but the thing I'm saying is the uh, is they always say the high of it. They're like, yeah, you want to win, but the high is just the act of doing it. Is that true? Because Rich listen, used to gamble a lot. Like, listen, I don't. I don't there that- is no more excitement in life. And I used to smoke crack. There is no more excitement in life <laughs> than a fucking hot crap table. When that fucking table is well, hot. He's talking about uh, uh, gambling. I'm talking about gaming. Right. Gaming. Okay. We're not talking about gambling now. We're talking about What's the fantasy sports. Oh. Fantasy sports. Oh, okay. There's 50 million people in this country who play fantasy sports. Uh, you, yeah. do you, you, no, I don't do any of the fantasy. You don't pick a football team or, and no. follow them throughout the summer or no. the winter? I only, I only watch uh, UFC now. I used to watch baseball, football, basketball, but I just don't watch much anymore. How about boxing? You like that? I do, but I don't watch it. Canoa? Can 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 he win the other night? I I don't know. I, don't, but, I haven't watched much. Well, boxing. you should explain to Pete. He he was all in with baseball until Derek Jeter kind of blew him off. Yeah, I just had a few Derek runnings. Blew you off? Yeah, he wasn't very nice to me, but it's all right. Why? We were at a function too, Pete. We were we we were looking. We were supposed to be in that room. No, is this true? Is this oh, 100 percent true. Looking, looking. I had a photo. Because you're the only guy in this town don't like Derek Jeter. I don't even dislike him anymore. I, I I had a photo with him and I tried to get him to sign it. It was me and him. But he just kept refusing to sign it. But I look back, and he was charging people to sign things because it was a charity event. And I probably should have just paid to have it signed. Like yeah, I taking... was probably being the dick in that situation and didn't even realize it. But there were, you know, women that he... Yeah, he, was, <laughs> he, he, got... he wasn't being too nice. But I, I think I was kind of the dick for... I should have walked up and just paid the money because it was all going to charity. event? Yeah, it was going to charity. All oh. the money was going to charity, so he probably thought I was trying to sneak around that, but I wasn't. But we already paid for our table, technically. Yeah, but I, looking back, I should have just gone he through He would that hang process. out at the bathroom to get everyone to sign stuff. Pretty smart move. For me, though, I don't sign right? it. Sign it to me. But it was just, you know... I just got you two lovely autographs. You could tell them. Thank you. What, two tall Jones and Hollywood Henderson. And, yeah. Hollywood? Yeah. You know Thomas Henderson. Yeah. Right? Ed? Uh, yeah. Ed, Ed two tall Jones? Yeah. Yeah. Old cowboys. He must have made you look like a fucking midget. No, I didn't. Well, a lot of people make me look like a midget. I'm five seven, but I, I didn't. Five seven, my ass. <laughs> what, you got high heels on. <laughs> Come on, get out of here. <laughs> five seven. I may be five six and whatever. I'm in that area. I'm in the almost five seven. Yeah. Shut up, Chubb. What the hell are you doing over there? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? You're on the show. You can speak up <laughs> now. You're Pete. I know. Man, what, what's so important about that damn phone? You, I, I was you, uh, fighting with. You just got a new meatloaf app. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. I was taking a picture of all of us. Live like this. (laughs) Do you have a phone, Pete? Uh, Yeah, sure. I got a phone like everybody else. I'm pretty much like everybody else. What kind of question is that? Oh, you asked me a question? Yeah, it was over here. I'm not giving you my number. I don't want to be disturbed by you. (laughs) (laughs) Talk to Pete that way. I asked him if he had a phone. Yeah, I got one. Right here. It's right here. Yeah, Pete's got a nice so, I got so a good Rolodex, fucking... too. I got a lot of names in there. Yeah. Yeah, let's call somebody. I got Obama in there. No, you, you don't. Number? No, you don't. <laughs> I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> well, you really fucking fell apart quick there, didn't you, Pete? <laughs> who's, who's, your biggest cele- who's your biggest celebrity you got in your phone? Oh, man. Let's see who my biggest celebrity got to be a ball player, uh, right? Uh, Shaq, maybe. Uh, yeah, George his Clooney. Is probably George cut Clooney. Off. Get out of here, Clooney. Yeah, he's from Cincinnati. My buddy. Are you from Cincinnati? Yeah. Fucking skyline, are, are, Philly. Are you? <laughs> no, I'm a gold star guy. Gold star. Oh, yeah. Scott, yeah. I did their commercials. Yeah. What's yeah. gold star? You know, it's, it's, huh? it's chili. It's chili. There's two kinds and of chili. You can get it skyline three-way. or gold star. You can get it a three way, a four okay. way, a five way. Yeah. You probably For like sure. a four way, don't you? I'm sure. <laughs> 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 be happy with a two way right now. Come on, don't chip in, baby. <laughs> What's that? Long <laughs> <Well, D-Rose. laughs> 
Fucking chick, motherfucking dick. You like the three way, one chick, three times. <laughs> you live in Florida, right? Vegas. I live in Vegas. I yeah. ate at your restaurant. Did you have a restaurant in Florida? I used to have I, a couple down in Boca. I ate in Boca yeah. at the yeah. restaurant in yeah. Boca. Yeah. How was it? It was uh, fun. Please, I'd rather drink hepatitis. It was good. We had 66 TVs in my restaurant. Yeah, it was wow. 66. Wow. We ate there in, in Boca. Yeah. Yeah. We wait, ate wait, there. wait. I think I'm. What, what, what's the name of the place? <laughs> what's the name of the place? Robinson. <laughs> 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 Stupid. What's your name of the fucking place? <laughs> Cardi <laughs> Stretsky. Derek <Jackson>. Jeter's. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed in there. It was a sushi restaurant. Dum -dum. <laughs> All right, I, I, it might have been Pete Rose's place. I didn't know that. I wasn't sure. It could have been something else. I think you and it I have been a good guest. Though. That's why I'm asking. Boca. Yes. Are you looking oh. for a new host? Sure. Uh, Come on in, Pete. Could I do an audition? We would love I'm, to have I'm you. I'm funnier than these fucking guys. Yeah, that's well, not well, saying well, much. A lot of people are. <laughs> I could, I could be Jewish for a year. <laughs> <laughs> not with that. Fuck, not with that. Oh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Not with that. Uh -huh. not with that. Uh -huh. You fell apart. Why, why are you living uh -huh. in Vegas? Why did you That's pick where Vegas? I work. That's where I work. What are you doing for work? I sign autographs four and a half hours a day, 20 days a month. Oh, at, wow. At the uh, Mandalay Place, which is a mall. Right. And I used to do it at the uh, farm shop. You've been in the farm shops? In uh, yeah, Caesar, sure. Yeah. So you people walk in there and they pay for a photo. Forty-two million people visit Las Vegas last year. Right. Well, how many Seven autographs? Got you, your how many autographs you think you've signed in your life? A lot. Wow. Well, I know that. Well, oh, I don't know. Do you think Just I fucking count them? <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's see. Nine hundred sixty-three thousand. You know and uh, that was a really bad one. question. Yeah, that was one right here. All right, Gary. Yes, yeah. it was bad. I'm in mourning now. That was a horrible <laughs> question. Pete Rose is on fire. Is, you're, you're funny, <laughs> spoken. And why you're don't you funny, do you're funny, spoken. You're funny spoken? spoken? No, no, you're funny and outspoken. All right. All right. But, I'm not outspoken. No, I mean, you'll, you'll yes. say what... On you. Yeah. Why don't you, like Tyson, do a one-man show? You have such a great story. Well, I do a lot of that stuff. I do mean, do I do a lot of banquets and, and, and you know, yeah. speeches and stuff like that. Yeah, you fucking a one-man... It would be great. An actual yeah, one-man show. Tyson did a great one-man show. He did an amazing one-man show. It would like, be kind of like great. Showing pictures and stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's people funny that the people that. can't see, but I remember one time talking about the All-Star Games tonight, correct? Yes. And I was at an All-Star Game one time, and uh, the next table was Willie Mays. Wow. Great, great player. I mean, he had... Light gray shark skin suit on, a white shirt, a purple uh, purple tie. And he, we're talking for about 45 minutes. He gets up, he goes to the bathroom, he comes back, and he's got water all over his pants. You know, and I'm, I'm saying, Willie, what, what the hell is going on? And Willie's like this. He says, man, he says, you ain't going to believe this. He has not there taking a piss, and the guy said, ain't you Willie Mays? That's <laughs> 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 bitch pissed on me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not do that in the one-man <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! No no! no. Here, here's a good one. Oh, here's a good one. In, a, in, what a, in, the in 19, it's true. In 1967, I get a call from the State oh, Department. 67. Yeah, yes, yes. And uh, I'm just a kid. And the guy says, "You want to go to Vietnam?" I said, "Not necessarily. There's a war going on over here." He said, well, "Joe DiMaggio is going." I said, "I'll go." Yeah. You know, I walked through a hell in a gasoline suit to see me, Joe DiMaggio. So I flew to San Francisco. We flew to Saigon. Myself, Joe, Tony Canigliaro, I don't know if you guys remember yes, him. You know, and yeah, a guy named ball. Jerry Coleman, who played for the Yankees. Right. Announcer for San Diego, mm -hmm. by the way, just died about four mm -hmm. months ago. And we, they broke us up into two groups, and then we end up meeting them on the Intrepid, mm -hmm. which I passed on the way to get here mm -hmm. today, in the Tonkin Bay. And, and so did Bobby, but he was in the water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and, it, and it's so hot you can't sleep. I mean, there's bombs going off and every fourth board out of the helicopter is a tracer. And Joe says, I got to take a shower. I said, Joe, we're in the middle of the jungle. This is not downtown Saigon. He said, I don't give a damn. Gotta take a, I got to take a shower. So the only way you can take a shower is a guy gets up on a chair and pours the water. And another guy pulls the chain and the guy underneath takes the, the, shower, the shower. Right. I gave Joe DiMaggio a shower. How many guys can you say uh, were on your show did that? Mm. Now, the best way to describe Joe DiMaggio yeah. is he was a penis with a man hanging from it. Oh, my God. <laughs> he was all really? cock, huh? Yeah. Good for Joe. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
I don't know if I felt sorry for Marilyn or envy her. <laughs> Good, for Good for Look Joe. Good for Joe. man. Yeah, I know. He's sure it's lighting up. Speaking of showers, this guy Frank gave him one the other night. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking. What was he really packing? He was packing. Oh, oh. man. An arm, huh? You know, had the, we call them shower shoes when I played baseball. They call them thongs today. Joe yeah. had three of them. God <laughs> damn. Jesus. And he, and he was he was banging fucking Marilyn Monroe, too. Married to her, man. What you talking about? Yeah, man? exactly. Oh, he just saying. said that. He, he just said, said that. a minute ago. You're what a minute say? behind. Are you listening? You doing? Yes, That's I was what watching you, the whole time. What do you got some timers? Watching. <laughs> <laughs> I said, are you listening? He goes, I was watching the whole time. Yeah. You're just answering questions that are impertinent. That's a different sense, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> he's got, hey, do me a favor. Why you guys scare me? Take the plug out of the damn guy's head. Look at his hair. Take the plug out of there. <laughs> Sammy means <laughs> That's right. Apple cheeks. He's like your fucking dumb hair. Fucking he hair. hates it. He looks like Tracy Chapman. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he looks like Oscar Gamble. <laughs> <laughs> fucking there horrible. There you go. Ah, Willy Wonka hair. <laughs> Oh, oh, Bobby, oh. that's not a baseball We're having a good time. Oh, how many, how many <laughs> stations are you on? One. Uh, one. Barely. No, it's everywhere in the U.S. No, it's satellite. Oh, satellite. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, they're hearing us in Vegas So we got right guys now. driving off the road right now. Hopefully, oh, yeah, hopefully yeah. they're liking this. I don't know. So he meets for bad reasons, like they're yeah. killing themselves. But, yeah. have, <laughs> weren't you going down the road of a reality show? What happened with that? I had fun with that. What, what happened, doing? though? I mean, it, it's, well, it seems like it would have been a hit. I, I think what happened is uh, TLC is a, a woman's network. Of course. And I think, they they on there, right? I think they concentrated too much on baseball. Oh, God. They went to Cooperstown. They went to the, the, the Little League ballpark. They didn't even go to Cincinnati. Really? They didn't even go to Cincinnati. They should have concentrated more on my fiance. Right. You ever see her? Yeah. 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 I know so. Yeah. yeah no. she's, she hot? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's, yeah. she's, she's a, a looker. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, obviously she should be. Look at you. Of course, she is. <laughs> that's obvious. Peter. What are you saying? She's blind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's hot. Uh, wow. If you you know don't mind me saying that, okay. it was a lot of fun. It was. A lot oh, my. Yeah, but you are got you a great kidding? personality. That should have worked. They fucked. They did, it. I what? think they fucked they it up. They didn't know how to get my personality out. They fucked it up. They didn't know how to get my personality out. She's got a great personality too. Right. Mm. And uh, you know, one of the biggest shows we had that they didn't put on was when she got a, a breast reduction. Hmm. Why didn't they, they put it I, on? I don't know why. I mean, that was one of the best, funniest shows. Me with the doctor, and she's going like this, and I'm going, I'm going right, right. Like this, don't know. take too much. Bobby, right? Yeah. Right you get this information. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I mean, did, did. hey, uh, how, 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 how big? About, wait, how big? Big. Yeah. <laughs> Has anybody ever approached you about a movie? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. But uh, everybody wants uh, when they talk about a movie, they want a happy ending, and that would be get reinstated. Wow, you know, because right now it's in, like I'm I'm in limbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you can't have a movie and say, oh, "Did he go to the Hall of Fame or did he not get there?" Right. But there's Keith, there's but his girlfriend right there, by the way, his fiance. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. she's smoking hot. Yeah. Holy Jesus! Pete does well. How'd yeah. You, wow. How'd you, how'd you do that, man? How do, it's, it's called, called a computer. the internet. Yeah, it's in the air. It's called Google. It's in the air. <laughs> yeah. well, she's I beautiful. Mean, she's yes. better looking than I thought. <laughs> when are you getting married? <laughs> Someday. <laughs> Pete, Someday. so, I mean, the one thing, uh, with uh, with all the others... We're into golf right now, because she's got a 16-year-old kid and a 12-year-old kid that oh, love golf. golf, and they're yeah. going to golf academies for school uh, and the whole ball. They're wide. good? You play golf? All the time. I just got back from a tour. You're talking really? in yeah. microphone. All the time. I, I, play, I just was in Vegas. He shot a 79. He I wants everyone to know that. That's pretty damn good. Nah, but I was, it was only nine holes. Said, no, what, <laughs> what, 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 what do you have, a seven handicap? No, I'm really around a 12 or 13. I just had a good day. So you don't have to lie to me. No, he's lying. He's lying. See, listen, look, at, look at she's no, trying to impress you. Do you play? I, I no. play a lot. Yeah, I'm like a four handicap. Do you play golf a lot? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're a no. four handicap? Yeah, four. You're He's lying. not a fucking no, lying piece please. of shit. You ain't no four <laughs> handicap. No, I, I, I'm a, I'm oh, really? Are you really? But no, Pete, I'm like a 12 or 13. I just play no, Vegas. Pete's on to something, though. Courses. You're padding your handicap for some. Yeah, no. He Pete, I'm oh, but, he, but he doesn't no. really bet these days. Pete, do you see the gift he gave me? She's swinging a club and she's holding it. This is the gift he gave me today. Oh, that's his driver. No. That's a sport. It's a short pot. I just play the button. 
Joe DiMaggio schmucking there? Of course. We should be talking about someone who's gone, right? Oh, he's talking about his cock. Oh, my God. He's happy he probably is somewhere. He's smiling somewhere. Raving about his giant dick. Those courses in Vegas are great. Just every fucking way you turn, there's a good one in Vegas. Paiute and the fucking... Well, that's the only thing that's green in Vegas, what they want to be green. Yeah. Golf courses. I played in a tournament with that guy. Who's the fucking baseball player that does the flips? Ozzy Smith. Yeah. Him and a couple other ball players. A lot of them are best. Well, that's a great Hall of Famer. Who's that guy that does the flips? No. Yeah. He doesn't know the whole thing. <laughs> exactly. He doesn't the know. The fuck? Wilson. I mean, with, <laughs> don't, don't I don't remember every name. I'm a fucking, I'm a big guy. I remember one name. Ozzy's not a good golfer, is he? I didn't play with him. He was out in the tournament. I don't know. I no, just you're just name afar. dropping him. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm but saying you don't even know his like, fucking name. Doesn't know him. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, 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 Sydney. <laughs> not what country I play soccer for. Uh, oh, that's, that's a city. No, oh, but that's, I know, I that's got a it. very white place, though. I know. Yeah, here's here's the thing. Go ahead, Sydney. A different. I don't know what the thing is. You were back in. You went to the. Uh, what was it, the All Star game last year? Was your first uh, time back in? No. When, 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 I had never been to an All Star game. I didn't well, play. What were you at last year? That was such a nice thing. Oh, we did. Uh, 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 an unveiling of a statue for Joe Morgan. You were in, and in, the starting name oh, was on right, the right. That was great, man. The Big Red Machine. That was the, the fans. Really. You heard of the Big Red Machine? Of course. Yes, I, did. I have. Of, Big Red of course I have. Get off the phone. I was taking another picture of you. Stop I'm taking to... pictures, Sneaky. Why? Well, I want to uh, fucking... Uh, can't you get a better picture than that? Up there? Of her? Yeah. That's oh, a... look at that picture. That's great. That's, yeah. that's a very good picture. Wow. The only thing I'll say about the whole thing, well, the, the, these guys that are in, and they did, they did their own shit. Well, how do you feel about that? about that? The thing about that, uh, don't mislead the people. And, we, and I know you're not right. doing it purposely. Nobody connected the PEDs up to date has, has made the Hall of Fame. Oh, I didn't know that. See, there's guys like Bonds and Clemens right. and Sosa and Palmero and McGuire. They're on the list to be voted for the Hall of Fame. I'm not, a, I'm not eligible for that list. Holy fuck, I didn't even so realize until that. someone gets in. Uh, so if one of those guys gets in, then your case well, is a little stronger. Well, their vote is, the, from, from two years ago, last year, the vote went down. Sure. Which, which is kind of a, a, a screwy situation because uh, Biggio, Craig Biggio, played for Houston. Right. He got over 3,000 hits and 500 doubles. Right. He missed the Hall of Fame last year by one, one vote. All right, one guy sent his ballot in blank. Blank. Why should that guy be allowed to vote? Right. That's ridiculous. That's yeah, scumbag. That is ridiculous. Why don't you, if you fake your death, two years later you'll be in. How fake the hell it. am I going to fake my death? I what am I going to do? Just, just go live on I Gilligan's you, Island? Change your name. <laughs> <laughs> am I going to Gilligan's <laughs> Island? I, I, you I think I had to get a helicopter. You want to fake your death? Change your name to Rich Voss and start, <laughs> and start picking gigs. <laughs> I, w I, w I wish you wouldn't fake your death. <laughs> oh, look who woke up. Yeah, Jamie. Yeah. What about this picture right there? That's Pete with his underwear yeah, yeah. and two Let me baseball see that. bats. Let me see yeah. that one. Yeah. Oh, that picture right I did there. that with Jim, boy, Jim Palmer. Hey, you, you, yeah, 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 you're not so bad yourself right there. Yeah, Jeez. That was a long time ago, man. Jeez. Fucking f get, the, get the girl on there. Forget the. You ready? The, How long did it take you? I, I just got. I remember when you got your. Uh, when you broke uh, Cobb's record. But did the, the hit before the record to the actual record break? Did you go through a slump at all? Or no, no, I went through uh, an 0 for 4. And that was I did, it? I did it on Sunday in Chicago. Then I went 0 for 4 against Lamar Hoyt. Then I didn't play. Then I got hit the first time up. Well, were you paranoid or terrified? Or were you just. No, how did you fuck it out? Uh, it was fun. Uh, not too many people went through what I went through. I got a nine minute stay in ova ovation. Mm. Nine minutes. Wow. It's crazy. Nine minutes. It's crazy. Did, 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 and you did it at home? Yeah. It was at home. And you got the ball? Yeah, did I you gave it the ball? Yeah. Oh, that's fucking. Who do you think got the ball? <laughs> Garvey, Garvey's in the background, Steve Garvey. You know, he was. Yeah. He's a great guy, but. Uh, uh, he's the one that had the problem in San Diego many years ago when he played down there. He, he made three girls pregnant in one summer. 
You know, he was busy. That Gotta summer. love that. <laughs> he was busy yeah, that yeah. summer. <laughs> yeah. He, he had aspirations of being a governor, but he screwed that up. But right. uh, I told him one time, I said, Steve, I said, I bet on the Breeders' Cup, you won the son of a bitch. <laughs> 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 then, then, then he's he's at first base when I broke the record, right? And you, the pitcher is forty one ninety two. I'm there, and Steve's in the background, and he's laughing. And people say, "Why is he laughing?" Because he was a real serious guy, you know. And all of a sudden, after about six or seven minutes, he took a step forward. He says, "What the fuck do you do?" Fuck <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It'll never be broken. It'll, it'll, nobody well, will ever, I don't think anyone will ever stay. I don't they, think in my lifetime will be. But Ty Cobb probably said never. Never say never. Who Who's uh, in the lead actively? Jeter. 3,400. 3,400, okay. 3,402. Maybe he's quitting this year. Yeah, exactly. Know, well, it's 800 well, shine. Yeah, that's the point. It's just not going to, it's not ever going to happen. See, baseball's not played the way it was when I played. Nobody in baseball today sets goals with 200 hits. They all want to hit 30 home runs, strike out 150 times, and make 10 million a year or more. Right. And it works. Okay? They, they, they don't pay guys to get 200 hits. And you got to get 200 hits 21 years. And you're still 56 shy of my record. Wow. Nobody got 200 hits last year. No Carpenter, one. Carpenter from the uh, Cardinals got 199. And then Beltry from, uh, he, uh, from uh, the Rangers got the 194. See, because if you got a guy. <laughs> they can get 200 hits a year, and he's a star player, okay? And how much can you pay, uh, pay a star player to pay 20 years? You can't pay him a half a billion dollars. You know, just like a guy like A-Rod. Mm -hmm. He signed two $250 million contracts, but he's more of a home run hitter. You know, anybody hits third, fourth, or fifth in the lineup is not going to get 200 hits. you got to hit first or second. And most guys who are run producers don't hit first or second. Jeter's always yeah. hit first or second. That's why he got so many hits. When did you bet? First, you first. first. Yeah, oh yeah. So why can't a, th uh, a third batter? He don't get the, he don't get enough at bats. Oh, okay. You my, yeah, right. I, I got, get it. I get it. See, yeah. And, and people couldn't understand why I didn't think Jeter was going to catch me three years, two, three years ago. And here was here was my uh, reasoning, because he got his ten thousandth at bat like two years ago, something like that, ten thousand, and he's going to have about the same lifetime average as I have when he's finished playing, and I got fourteen thousand at bats. So I'm saying, how's he going to get 4,000 more at-bats? He's 39 years old. It's impossible. Right. Not because I did something that he couldn't do. He just, he didn't have enough time. He didn't have enough time. If he played, yeah. uh, you know, if he played 24 years. But see, <clears throat> another thing people don't understand, and, and you do. I don't know. The rest of you guys are young. You don't do things. You're, you're 40, right? Are you 47. 40? Okay. You, you're <laughs> serious, are you? 57. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You look good. Uh, you, you don't do things at 42 you did at 32. No. And baseball players are the same. You know, basketball players are the same. Football players are the same. So what I did when I was 31, 32, 33, 34, I didn't do it when I was 41, 42, 40. And I played when I was 45. But the you last play your manager, right? At one yeah, point. the last couple yeah. years I didn't play much, but I was player manager. So, but th that's just the way it is. So now Ishiro, um, they're they're trying to they're trying to get him uh, to combine his Japanese hits with his American hits. Oh fuck that! That's bullshit. Well, they didn't do that with Sadaharu, oh, who had eight hundred five home runs. I never heard him mention with right. Hank Aaron, who got seven fifty five. Mm -hmm. But Ishiro was closing in on four thousand hits, and it, he'll be hard to get two hundred fifty six more too. Because he's, you know, he's not even playing regular anymore. But he could hit. A guy could hit. Yeah. He tied my record. Uh, I've, I've, I've got one record tied and one record <clears throat> broke since I quit. My run scored record, Bonds beat it. And then uh, uh, Ishiro tied my record for 200 hits 10 times. Wow. How many years have you been playing in the majors? Ishiro? Yeah. Uh, I don't even know. He's got 2,700 hits. But they're not counting any of his uh, Japanese stats. Well, if they're going to do that, then they should uh, count my minor league hits. That's professional hits. Right. Oh, yeah. okay, which would jack up your, your even more. Yeah, I got about 450 in the minor leagues. What? Uh, how many did you play in a row, too? What was the, uh, what was the hits in the games <coughs> in a row? 44 games in 44. a row. 44? Joe did 56. I'm second. Highest in the National I League. I can't believe I... I traded what's his name's card from the Orioles that broke the Cal well, Ripken. Yeah, I traded two Cal Ripken cards for a Bill Bradley. <laughs> I thought I thought Bill Bradley was going to become president, so oh, I wanted yeah. his rookie yeah. card. Two Cal yeah. Ripkins for a Bill Bradley. Yeah, <laughs> yes, because I thought Bill Bradley yeah, was. He was win. good. Bill Bradley. Was good. He was, but he wasn't two Cal Dollar Ripken Bill. cards were. Well, maybe at the time he was. Uh, but you're Cal fifty-seven. Rip what's that? You're fifty-seven. <laughs> yeah, why? I can't. you can't believe someone fifty-seven is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
what do you call it? When Cal Ripken, <coughs> he was going to miss a game, and and they turned out all the lights at at at, at oh, Camden called Yards game and called the games came off. Said the electricity yeah. went down. Yeah. Is that true, though? Did they actually do that? I don't that? know. Hey, Harpo. What are the odds? <laughs> Listen, if you do anything about gambling, if you know anything about gambling, what are the odds the game he's going to miss, the electricity goes right, off? Right, right, right. Well, how do you know he was going to miss it? Because he was late, already in traffic. He couldn't get well, there There's on more time. rumors on that one, too. You know. The Kevin Costner angle. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh uh, <laughs> I heard that one, too. You did, right? I ain't saying that one. I ain't saying shit. What's that? What, what is it? Uh, it's, it was just some rumor about him, his wife and Costner, but it's been like a lot of, they've all denied it. Have you heard it. that, too? I heard the rumor, I yeah. You. We I asked. Uh, I asked uh, Cal Ripken about it. Huh. What and happened? What you did you say? You asked Cal Ripken. I did. We did. Not the, because it was, it's a public thing. It was, and he never like, came back. <laughs> so no, but you him. ask somebody, you give them the chance to say no, that's nonsense, too. Like, right. you know, I didn't accuse him of it. I just We asked him. And Wait, he, his <coughs> wife was with Kevin Costner? Well, we that's don't, the, I don't even believe it's the a, rumor it's a, it's necessarily. It's a wild rumor, and, and a that's why rumor. he wasn't going to... Did he get to watch? <laughs> that's Rich, right. let me no, explain. he was playing. Oh. So then the word got out, and he found out, and the rumor is he went home. That was the rumor. Oh. That's the rumor we heard. And then they turned off the fucking lights. Probably nonsense. He's probably utter bullshit. It's, a, crazy, it's yeah. a pretty crazy rumor, obviously. Yeah, it's yeah. probably complete bullshit. Right. There How do go. players react to you? Oh, wow. Who's Which that? one is that? Let me see. That's Bobby. your girl? Yeah. That's oh, my girl. God. Bobby! Wow. Oh. She's lovely. That's crazy. I'm telling you, if you like girls. She's cool. If you like girls. Wow. Pete's got to go. That's I do. Ridiculous. They're telling us. Uh, sometimes we use that tact if someone sucks, but trust me, you don't. This suck. is fun. You guys are fun. But they yeah, are telling us you, you got to go because you got other things. I never thought I'd ever do a radio show with Opie. <laughs> 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 well, now you're going to come back, though, right? <laughs> call you dickhead or something. Not <laughs> Opie. No, they, they call yeah, me yeah, yeah, those, Opster, those are, don't What's worry. up, Opster? <laughs> <laughs> this is my boy here, right? Thank you, Pete. <laughs> feels like he's been in a gang fight. He beat the shit out yes, of yeah. <laughs> well, Pete, Pete's very physical when he tells a joke. Yeah. Yeah. He's punched Jimmy you, a couple take times your today. Take pocket out and he'll hold it as you walk along. Yeah, the yeah, yeah he's 57. Yeah. I mean, he's like he's amazed he's 57. Well, I'm not yeah. fucking old as shit. I thought he was younger. No, I'm fucking two years you younger than your waistline. Huh? <laughs> Oh, but that's a fucking... That's, he put a little weight on you. All right, listen. He's happy, happy, right? You're happy. Uh, yeah, you are yeah. too, right? Damn, yes, damn it's right. his box spring that's not... <laughs> <laughs> his wife. We love that, Harpo. Right. Hey, Harpo, go back to sleep. Uh, Peter Rose, yes. what do we do? It's Sports Beep, the, the newest fantasy sports gaming mobile app. Oh, God. Uh, the only Indiegogo. <laughs> Just look up Indiegogo. Oh, All right, but I wanted to make sure the people know, the only legal fantasy sports game where seven out of ten players win every game, visit sportsbeep.com, right? Correct. And PeteRose.com. And PeteRose.com. And then Pete Rose underscore 14 on Twitter. You yes. guys are great, man. You, Thank you. You, you, Thank you, you tweet a lot, Pete. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I thought so. Can we take a picture? Tweet, tweet. The great Pete Rose. We'll see you guys tomorrow.